Shields up, Ironbreakers. How's everybody doing today? The time has come when we are going to finally get to play Dragon's Dogma 2. We've been waiting 12 years. 12 years, bro. Over a decade is a whole lot of time to wait. You guys ready for Dragon's Dogma 2? You guys ready for Dragon's Dogma 2? Because I'm sure as hell ready. So let me just, uh, wait, is this working? Yeah, there we go. Get that done. Just getting some stuff out of the way. Making sure to send out all the notifications. Because I've been waiting a long time for this. The time's finally come. So, a couple of things. Naturally, for those of you that are not aware, this game was provided to me by Capcom so that I could check it out, give you guys my opinions, do my content, do all of that stuff. Now, in regards to this playthrough, because obviously you guys know I like to go through things blind and that is usually the ideal way of doing a stream, but naturally in order to do some content for Dragon's Dogma 2, I had to play a little bit of it, at least, so that I'd be able to provide you guys with, like, my impressions, as well as do my guide, which I'll probably be uploading at some point tomorrow. I have a very lengthy beginner's guide for those of you that are, uh, you know, maybe struggling with some of the less uh, quality of life way in which Dragon's Dogma 2 works. I got you guys covered. Tomorrow at some point, a guide will be up. But another thing that we need to talk about is the the whole thing about the official pawn. Because that also meant that I couldn't start playing the game from the very beginning in the, in the stream. Because they needed to have my official pawn created. So I had to basically play the, the beginning portion of this playthrough. It's already done. It's like a 16, 20 minutes, whatever. We'll play that on stream here. Because right now I'm already in game. I'm already like at, at a specific location after you for, you create your first pawn. Which is very much in the beginning of the game. But this is just to explain to you guys that before we get to actual gameplay. We need to go ahead and we need to watch this. Let me cut the music here. And let me swap over to gameplay camera. 10 hours for the rest of us. Oh, let me tell you something. It's worth it. It's worth every bit. I was still considered the young man when Dragon's Dogma 2 came out. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. <laughs> Like, when Dragon's Dogma 2 came out, I, was I 30? I was probably, like, 29 when that game came out. I was 29. Do you have any word on the pre-downloads, pre Rui, please? I have no idea whether you can pre-download pre it or not. PS5 or PC? I am playing on PC. So, let's get this started. This is the very beginning of the game. La conviction est la valeur humaine arrivée. Yeah, something. Conviction is the human will that reaches its greatest power. Honoré de Balzac. The game's a little bit on the dark side in this video. If need be, when we get to actual gameplay, I'll increase the brightness. Fevermont suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. 
Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> Here to raise game volume. My yeah. word. Such an inspiring visage. Your Majesty shall have my eternal fealty. Your no Majesty, of oh, how long I have awaited this moment. It's the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold and rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the Sovereign let us be united in the hope that our legions reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Ramon! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. <sighs> and then we get sent to jail. one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Aha, I thought I recognized you. Look at this gorgeous specimen. Look at him. What an absolute beast. There's only one small problem with this character. <laughs> and that's his little tiny baby hands. <laughs> Look at those baby hands, dude. How's <laughs> Cap Capcom gonna do me so dirty, dude? <laughs> those baby hands. <sighs> The feet too, yeah. I like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. I do what I want. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? 
Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. So an interesting thing that they mention here, which uh, I'd like to point out, they call us Vessel. So they're considering pawns to be vessels, and they think we're a pawn for some strange reason. Okay. Come along, you feckless dullards. Feckless dullards. Look at the thickness. The absolute thickness. Excavation site, the hole. Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. Look who's back! Look who's back! It's your boy, Rook. Right there. Mr. Tommy Giggles, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Ruri's brain got scrambled in the wound. He's the only man on earth that wishes he was shorter than he actually is. <laughs> only if I also got to be thicker. Is Rook still level six? I actually don't know. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Also, real quick, because I've noticed that a lot more people have joined the stream, you might be wondering, why is Rurikon playing a video instead of actually playing the game? This is the opening section of the game, and because of the official pawn shenanigans, I had to play the game ahead of the live stream so that my official pawn would be ready for the launch of the game. So we need to just play this intro sequence, and then I will jump into the game and continue from wherever we end up in the video. It's come to dinner. It would be unwise to disobey. The overseer will show you no mercy. I got confused here. I was like, wait, where am I supposed to go? Is it this way? No, wait, it's actually the other way. Sorry, Rook. Should play this part blindfolded? Exactly. Backseat gaming impossible. Yeah, you actually can't backseat game. <laughs> Time for you to get to work. So this is just him teaching you about rocks. About how you can pick up stuff in the game. Ah, uh, yeah, mud dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy, stones out from the station diggy, the diggy hole. Slave is on the loose. What are the guards doing? You have to remember that every single slave in this place is a pawn. Pawns don't act out of their own volition. They only act to serve the interests of the arisen. That's actually one of the things that we don't know yet is why exactly are the pawns working on this site? I assume it has something to do with the staff, the, the guard that came to pick us up has. But yeah, fundamentally, that's why you don't really have to worry too much about security in this place. Because it's not like pawns are going to start a revolution by themselves. 
I think that a lot of people don't actually understand the concept of a pawn in Dragon's Dogma, especially if you're starting with Dragon's Dogma 2. You have to think as pawns almost as not necessarily slaves, but willing servants of the Arisen. Like their whole purpose in life is to serve the Arisen. And somehow these guys are controlling them in this dig site. We don't know how. Did your dwarf skip leg day? No, he just has tiny feet. Just like he also has tiny hands. Do you see them adding multiplayer later on? No. It's just not a part of the design philosophy for Dragon's Dogma to have multiplayer. With the exception, obviously, of Dragon's Dogma Online, but that game's dead, so... A, mug of is just what I need. a job well done. Now the next step is to... Bonk. I love the ragdoll physics. What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. A Medusa. See how his staff glows red? It feels like that's what he's using to control the Arisen. Bonk. Get me out of here! Now! Look at that. What what is this, Capcom? Capcom, what is this? What is this tiny baby hand? <laughs> Look at this tiny... <laughs> He's got arms this thick. Hand this small. I was actually messing around. I wanted to climb up to the head. Shields offer welcome protection from attacks. Chonk. Ooh. Boulders, barrels, and the like make effective weapons that have never been lost. Throwing items actually deals a ton of damage. Like, watch the damage this deals. Uh, did I even hit with that? I probably didn't. I was messing about way too much in the starting section here. No orange hair? The orange hair is on my pawn. Because my pawn is the actual main character. Now, this is something I'm curious about. I wonder who this character is. And also pay, pay attention to something. Since I've had to play this beginning portion like three times already, 
I want you to pay attention to something because I started noticing more details. But like, notice the color of the eyes. Okay, I want you to pay attention to this. I'm gonna talk about this in a second. You cannot linger in this place forever. I'm playing on PC. You have lost your memories. It is surely the work of a foul curse, but worry not. You need only believe in your own destiny, Arisa. It seems that she freed him from whatever control these guys have over the pawns. Oh, you! Get back here! He also has tiny hands! <laughs> this way, Arisa! Come this way. Let us flee. Survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. So you guys might be wondering. Don't just stand there. Shoot it down. You guys might be wondering why exactly do they get to ride a griffin? Notice the color of the eyes on this griffin. So clearly the other character that tells us to run is also controlling the griffin that allows us to escape. It's not Rook 2.0, it's just Rook. This opening scene is so beautiful. Lacade's stats are independent depending on the vocation that you choose. Stats change. You don't have to worry about leveling up as a mage to play as whatever, you know. You don't have to worry about leveling up as a thief to gain damage. Just play whatever vocation you want. It's not like Dragon's Dogma 1. Can you play 60 FPS on PC? Yes, even more, if your PC is good enough. I thought it was funny when I first saw this, I was like, wait, wait, lady, lady, I'm riding this griffin. Don't do that. Hey, hey, listen, let's talk about this. Oh no. Are they gonna ruin my mount like that? That's messed up. Dragon's Dogma 2 is not in the same world as the first one. This is a review copy. Does that pose seem familiar? Come on, chat. Who's gonna who's gonna call it? I need somebody in chat to call this pose. Come on, where's the origin of this pose? I'm like 99%. This is a reference. There it is, Yamsha. Yep. 
Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. Akira Toriyama was amazing, dude. An awesome dude. Created fantastic art. No, 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 I can use my pawn right now. The brine! Great. Keep your distance, Arisa. Rook! No! Not again! Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Right. What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? No. It was wonder you survived. It wasn't me. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Let's go. I was actually looking back here because there's a cave behind this griffin. But you don't have access to it at this point in the game. Will you eat Rook later? I I don't know. I haven't met Rook since this uh, since this section. Yeah, the hand staying on the blade is a nice detail, because that would be how you would run. Had you you know had you been running with a sword in your hilt. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from? Anyway, I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly not like that here in Burma. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? So they're not aware of where the jail is. Unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. This is PC. Gobbos! Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. But green varish is more important. I love the new critical hit stuff. See, that was a critical hit right there. Make use of the slope. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. Another critical hit. Employ guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. Where are you going? Is the are enemy variety that bad? I don't think so. <laughs> Basically executions. Kinda. Yeah, kind of like uh, visceral attacks in Souls games, stuff like that. Can you go sword only, no shield? Not with a one-handed sword. You can go two-handed sword, and then you don't have a shield. And Warrior is so good, dude. Oh my god, dude, Warrior is amazing. But I think probably the first class that I'll have to play is Sorcerer, just because I want to get that out of the way. Because I want to get the, the Sorcerer augment. So I'm probably going to be playing as a sorcerer for a little bit. I mean, first thing we level, though, is fighter. We're going to be leveling as a fighter up to rank 6 to get one of his augments. And then I'm probably going to swap the Sork.
Witch Sorcerer Augment, uh, increased magic damage. I think that will work good with Mystic Spearhand. So yeah. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. The animations are gorgeous, dude. Visually speaking, this game is amazing. I've seen some people say stuff like, oh, looks just like the first one. I'm like, bro, let me get your goddamn eyes checked. This game looks friggin' amazing. People are insane. Uh, every time I read a comment about how the game looks bad, I'm just like, bro, are you looking through the eyes in your ass or something? Like, I, it, it drives me insane. People are crazy. Welcome, Arisen. The attacks do feel heavy, good the impact. Forms have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a Riftstone. Any augment you'd recommend for general usage? Fighter rank six through increases your weight limit. Horn Legion may cross Earth into this world. Pray. Now we're going to be summoning Summon the real Rurikan. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. I basically made the pawn as if he was my main character. So that when you guys take my pawn, it's like you're actually playing with me. I didn't make I made my main character the secondary one kind of. So there you go. This is my pawn. The gloves the on, yep. Nomads, for we wander between this world and the many other realms with which we are connected. I am <sighs> no exception, and my experiences in these other worlds will doubtless be of aid to you on your adventure. Tis my privilege to accompany you as your loyal pawn, and I will gladly use the knowledge I gain to guide you. Well, I'll be. A pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Border Watch Outpost. Northern Watch Encampment. I don't know if the game has an Everfall. Is this for strategy gaming spawn? I don't know. <laughs> Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer, if it is within my power to do so. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. 
And I think that's pretty much it. Yep, this is pretty much the end of the video. So this is the beginning section that I couldn't play through right now because I had to create the pawn to give Capcom the code so that he can become the official pawn and all of that stuff. And now that all that's out of the way, we can jump into the actual game. I've been having problems with my controller, so it better not screw me over today. I'm going to be real mad if we run into issues. So after that, we basically rested at the inn over here. Uh, because you had to rest, it's part of like the beginning of the quest and whatnot, but that's the point of the game where we are right now. Also, let me, uh, let me just get rid of this, uh, I put some additional gamma so that, because the video was really dark for some reason, I'm gonna get rid of that now. There, that should look good now. Let me know if the game gets too dark or something, but I'll this game is meant to be dark. Strength. And endeavor to survive when, every it, when it gets dark by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics so what's happening here is pawns are constantly approaching you uh especially if you don't have like a full party yet so pawns will be constantly approaching you to like hey i can i can join you if you want and it's like no i'm not interested thank you thank you very much sir we're still going to be getting tutorial messages and all of that stuff but yeah for those of you wondering ooh, let me pick up some lantern oil for those of you wondering, the settings, because I know that everybody's going to be like super specific about knowing the settings. First, one of the things that I would recommend, by the way, uh, this is going to be in my guide. Uh, this game also has a camera distance setting, which by default is on max closeness. Uh, if you're like me and you like having a little bit more distance in the camera, you can set this to max. Uh, I also turn off minimap rotation because I don't like it. I don't like the minimap constantly rotating. I like it facing north. Uh, and then finally, graphics, because I know people want to know. I am playing at 4K resolution, uh, 60 FPS, because this monitor can't do more than 60 FPS. I don't have dynamic resolution. I have fidelity. Uh, this is FSR3. It's kind of like AMD's version of DLSS. I have it set to balanced. Uh, and I have a lot of other stuff just like turned on. Most of the things are default with the exception of texture quality. I bumped that down one notch and I also uh, reduced grass and tree quality because my 6900 XT was struggling. Turn off motion blur, obviously. But yeah, other than that, it is what it is. Because I know that people like to over obsess about settings. That way, you guys can get this at the chest. beginning of the stream. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? So, one of the first things we're going to be doing is there's only two of us, me and my main pawn. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go recruit two more pawns. Hail, Arisen. No, I don't want to talk to you. Very well. She just tells us stuff about uh, pawns and stuff, like tutorial type things. All right, let's get ourselves a pawn. Now, I'm actually curious because you guys were wondering how do you how do you see pawns? The, the, they actually show up, I think, on the on the main capital Riftstone. You'll see official pawns in here, and then you can just select the official pawns. But it doesn't seem like that's an option in this one. Oh no, here they are, official pawns. Oh, and Fuchsia has a pawn? My pawn is in here. Wait, can I recruit my own pawn? <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh, okay, and Fuchsia, Miss Mika, Migamu, Slimu, Dart. Who's Ruru? The hell? Oh, Super Rad. He's got a mage, level two. There's a lot of people here in the official pawns. Paradise! Damn, he's a level 8 Sork. Okay, he's a little bit too high for us to take out right now. Yoshi? Who's Yoshi? Charlie, Reed, Gurren. Damn, a lot of these are super, expect super uh, expensive because they're very high above our level. But yeah, you can find creator pawns in here. Where's Asmongold? Asmongold probably hasn't set up his pawn yet. <laughs> He's got an official pawn, hasn't set it up yet. <laughs> but yeah, this is where you're going to come if you want to get my pawn. I will try to keep them updated, 
keep him updated as much as possible so that you, he can keep up with your levels. But naturally, I'm not going to be able to play uh, as often as a lot of people because I'm going to be streaming the whole thing, right? So I guess we will take Super Rad's Mage Pond. And I don't really know any of the other uh, official pawns, but where's Super Rad's Mage Pond? Here it is. He does kind of look like Super Rad. All right. <clears throat> Restoration and reinforcement are the purview of a mage. You'll be safe in my care, Arisen. I sure hope so. Are you fit to travel? Then okay. And now let's see if we can pick up somebody else's pawn. He actually has the right inclination too, which is kind hearted, is what you want for a mage. Um, where was it? Unique official. So next up, I would want an archer, I think. Or another mage, really. I was wondering if I would new... Oh, these are all like level 8. I need the level 2 ones because I don't want higher level dudes. Uh, I guess I'll take Lemu. Sure. Oops. No! It's Cowboy Pawn? He's not here. Did you guys see Cowboy's Pawn? I mean, I assume it would be called Fighting Cowboy. Miss Mika, Dog, Dart, Ruru, Sarash, Wooly. It's supposed to be a fighter. Yeah, I don't see Fighting Cowboy's Pawn. Maybe that's not sorted yet, so I don't know. Uh... Anyway, yeah, we'll take Limu for now. Oft does the bow prevail where the blade cannot. Pray, allow me the chance to demonstrate my skills <clears throat> as an archer. Cowboys is Sirosh? Oh, I was not aware of that. Let us work together to honor the Arisen. When I'm leveling, um, the thing is I also have two fighters in my party right now, so I don't want to have three fighters in the party. So, first, we'll swap vocations at some point, and when we do that, then I'll bring in, uh, Fighting Cowboy's Pawn. Okay, so now we have our party set up. One of the things that I think is gonna be weird for people is, you can just loot everything in a town. Like, this isn't Skyrim, where you're actually stealing stuff or whatever, you can just straight up go anywhere where there's anything, and you just loot it. It's there for you. Like, you see this? Any this is mine now. This is all mine. This is mine too. I don't know what this is, but it's mine. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to loot everything and everyone because I'm absolutely shameless. Okay? Also, while we're at it, let's go ahead and buy some clothes because we don't have any clothes. I mean, we look terrible. I will grab the cheapest armor because I really don't care that much. I just don't want to be naked. So we'll equip that. I find goods for sale. And I also want some leggings, please. Cheapest ones. These will do. Okay. Always a pleasure. Oh, let's you see if so we can find anything else in town. I hope our coin purse isn't too much lighter. I quite agree. I th seem to remember there's like a chest ah, over there. <clears throat> Aha! Ah, a material. Useful things, these. I didn't see what the inclination was for Lemu. I'm, I'm actually curious. Does Lemu have the right inclination? Pawn inclination simple. Ah! Usually in DPS, I would want straightforward, but I'll tolerate it. Uh, there's nothing up here. Let's go back down. How's the grind for golden discipline points? Does it take too long to level up? No, not really. At least I didn't think it'd take too long. I thought it was fine. From what I've played so far, anyway. Uh, let me just deposit some stuff, because we're probably already overweight. Is this guy a merchant? 
Have a gander at my wares. Oh, he sells camping kits. Okay. Ring of a cruel. Maximum amount weight the wearer can carry. 6,500. That's a bit much, bro. That's a bit much. 6,500's a bit much. Can't afford that right now. Do I have access to my storage here? Nice. So we spent all of our money, so we can't even, like, camp now. Not not camp. We can't even rest now. Uh, I'm going to deposit this, this. We don't need these clothes. Uh, have some materials from the goblins that we killed at the start. Withered branches. I'll keep the salubrious drought. And I'll save the skag of beast. If you'd like to change your vocation. Oh, damn it. Get rid of that. Have you picked up anything? No. Okay, we're good. Uh, also, we haven't. No. Come see me. Mistakes were made. Anytime. There we go. Okay, we can make a salubrious drought to avoid that apple going bad. Okay, that's good. You'll want to combine items Do often. Okay. And I think we're pretty much good to set out. Hey, oh, you a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Accardo. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The lad can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. What's the best inclination for Thief? In my opinion, straightforward. Like anything that you want to be focusing on damage, you probably want them to be straightforward so that they're constantly on the offensive. You've my thanks. Anacardos as well, I'm sure. Okay, let's go rescue this guy. You ought not to dawdle. Oh wait, is this a time-sensitive quest? Oh, nice. I can instantly tell you guys about these. So, time-sensitive quests are quests that, once you accept them, if you don't complete them, like, fairly soon, people are going to die. Bad things are going to happen. These are quests that are going to progress, whether you like it or not. So, keep that in mind. We're going to be doing this one right now. And our aid is sorely needed. We know, Dad. You shut your mouth! You shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Ingredients okay? Are plentiful hereabouts. Ooh. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Collect this stuff. Get it. Can I get him to collect stuff like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys pick that up. At last. The moment I've been waiting for. I don't want to pick it up. These up. Good job. Oh, wait, wait. Is there an item here? Yeah, there is. Ripened harspud. That's good. Oh, there's also a chest we missed out on inside town. But we have to go back to the town, so I'll pick it up on the way back. Gobbos! Yeah, yeah, we know how pawn commands work. I would have preferred work. not to have to fight so soon. But at least I know I am up to the challenge. We must not let down our guards. Bro, look at the vistas on this game. It is absolutely insane. This game looks absolutely gorgeous. Dude, he had his head as he was falling. Dude, Limu was not playing around. Just shot that gobbo straight in the head. 
Solves a lot of goblin problems, really. A nice arrow to the face. It's lovely. We're going the wrong way. I need to go get that I've quest. Yeah, let's actually... Let's actually go get the quest. Wait, what are we fighting? Let's go get that quest. Oh, they were getting a, uh, a fish. What is the best inclination for mages? If you want them to be supportive, uh, kind-hearted, in my opinion. Again, this is just my limited experience so far. Later down the line, I might change my opinion on some of these. But right now, that's how I feel about inclinations. There's the harpies. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! That's probably a cardo over there. I'm gonna be put to sleep. No! Get him, boys. Where's the dude? Where's the dude I'm supposed to be protecting? I've lost track of him. Oh, there he is. Who are you? You come to aid me. Yes. Phil and Enrique sent you to watch my back, okay? It's not the first time. It's all good, buddy. Is that all of them? Cardo does not look too sturdy. Yeah. You have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder, till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope... Okay, well thank you. Shall we be off? We've a report to make. Hey, vocation's already ranking up. Sounds good. We need rank six on this vocation before I actually swap around. Because I have a lot of vocations that I want to level. There's a lot of really good stuff. Pray, slow your feet. You run too fast for the likes of me. I'm a dwarf. To keep up, what do you mean? I'm a dwarf. How am I running faster than you? Also, did I see a chest off in the distance? Yeah, there's a chest over there. We'll eventually have to go there and get that. Actually, would we be able to access that? Oh, if we go from the other side. We can't go from the other side yet, I don't think, though. Not my duty. Hey, old friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. Twas a relief to see him return, and none the worse for wear. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. Twas a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. What's the role of the calm inclination? See, the calm is the one that I'm not sure yet. I think calm is the best one for tanks. They say that he is a character that thinks strategically and defensively, which I think is probably the best for tanks. My pawn currently has a calm inclination. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. Tis a goodly deed we've done. Now Sir Ricardo can return to his duty in good health. He thinks the troops will get more out of their training. Okay. I was checking to see if he would have an actual training quest. You can see on the map that there's like a chest over here. Fulgris Lord. This is a spell. This ladder can take us to new heights. Ah, excellent find. Yeah, see, we can't actually go this way to go get the... Or can we? If we climb up the tower and then climb off to the rock, 
Would we be able to go to that little spot with the goblins? Oh, I can't jump off here. No, let me off. Let me toss myself. Wait, that probably sounds bad in British, doesn't it? Okay. Let's head out. So we're going to pro progress with the main quest now. Can you toss NPCs as you please? Yes. You can also toss corpses like we killed these goblins earlier. You can just pick this up and be like... Bonk. If I might be so bold as to speak my mind... What, you don't like goblin the tossing? The quarters of one arisen I served had many a visitor and rarely the same one. Each to their own. Look at her being all judgmental about an Arisen just enjoying himself. Like, relax, lady. How prude. Oh, chest. I'm gonna steal from you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Ah, miss me. You like throwing things? Come here. Let me tell you what you can do with that. Do you know how to fly away? <laughs> Bye, goblin. <laughs> you have to go, guys. You just have to go. A little bit of green varsh. That's a war crime, sir? No. No, it's not. It's just good fun. By the way, I'm probably going to be one of the slowest streamers ever playing this game. So if you're looking for somebody to speedrun this thing, you're in the wrong place. Just letting guys know ahead of time. That's what's up. What are those two doing? You guys coming? Put your asses over here. Oh, uh, apologies, Master. My mind was a thousand leagues away. I bet it was. Urkan, do you know how a calm pawn acts? He acts just like my pawn does, because he has the calm inclination. They say strategic. And defensive. Which I'm assuming is the best for a tank, but I'm still not 100% sure. You need me at the vanguard? Say no It's okay, buddy. I got you. Stay with me, Arisen. Wait a moment. Bonk. Oh, thanks, Super Rad. My pawn leveled up his vocation. Also good, because he also needs to get to level 6, because I want both of us to have two. And after that, my pawn's going to go straight into warrior. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. Map, please. There you go. There's a lot of water. This is the excavation site where we start the game. Somewhere around here is Batal, I think, in the southern region. And the northern region, actually, I think, in this direction? I don't know exactly where, but there's some also interesting things in here. In the northern region. Am I going the wrong way, by the way? No, I'm supposed to cross this bridge, come over here. What are the materials that they're saying are around here? I don't see anything. Oh, here. 
Your pawns will notify you of when there's I'll materials these nearby. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. It's this way, right? Yeah, I keep getting sidetracked. Let's also go ahead and combine some of these. Two cinnamon barks will make wicking remedy. Removes oils from the skin. Okay, I don't care about that. Salubrious drought. The reason I'm constantly creating salubrious drought is because food goes bad. Salubrious drought doesn't. So that way I'm not being wasteful. Where does this go to? Oh, okay, we don't want to go that way just yet. Man, Ray, I'm so excited to start. This game looks beautiful. It is beautiful, Marco Meatball. It is a beautiful game, dude. So playing on controller is the way to go. You can play on keyboard as well. It's just I usually prefer playing on controller. And I would recommend, like right now I'm playing mouse and keyboard. You can see that the button prompts change if you look at the bottom left hand side. So <clears throat> you can do it. It's just not as intuitive. So like for instance, if you want to use skills, you have to press like control. So like you have your regular You're attacks and then if you want to use a skill, you go control. So you, you need to use modifiers and stuff, and I just gener generally prefer to play with a controller. But yeah, you can totally do mouse and keyboard. I think it's fine. It's just like I said, I would recommend customizing the controls. Heard someone say if you play on mouse and keyboard, you have to aim the bow with WASD? What? That doesn't seem right. I haven't looked at that yet. These are very important items. Although, I actually don't know exactly how these work yet, because this is a weird thing. So it says here, a rare beetle that glitters like gold, consuming it increases the weight one can carry by 0.15%. The Arisen's main pawn can also receive the main effect. So I think this might be a mistranslation. I think the idea is the Arisen main pawn will also receive the same effect because I was thinking, so does this mean I have to choose between myself and my pawn? So at one point I actually gave this to my pawn and then I tried having him use it, but it doesn't work. So I'm assuming that whenever you use this, both characters get it. But yeah, this increases your weight limits, which is also pretty good. Oh dude, pigs, let's get some meat. You guys like bacon? I like bacon. Beast steak. Where's the other pig? Here, little piggy. <laughs> okay. No pigs were harmed in the making of this live stream. There no harm in bringing this along. We I mean, look, we need we need food. Every corner. And and by the way, I shouldn't be carrying this food myself, okay? I'm gonna need you to carry that, buddy. Need you to carry that. As a matter of fact, you carry this too. Yeah, I should have this way, yeah. There you go. I should have a loot to pawn button or something. That would be useful. Oh, right. We're going to Melv. I had forgotten about that. This is where the lady that shot down my griffin was. You're going to have to go have some words with this lady. Be like, hey, lady. You know you shot the griffin I was flying on? Who taught you to who taught you to shoot like that? Crazy lady. You playing on PS5? No, I'm playing on PC.
So this is Meld. The scars left by the dragon's assault are plain to see. Mayhap, a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. In the light of recent spate of monster attacks, Oxcart service is suspended till further notice. When the Arisen appears, so too does the dragon. It is an immutable truth of this world. Super Rad knows a lot of things. You are correct. You're very knowledgeable there, Super Rad. Good job, buddy. It's only on PC, my pawn. <sighs> Does this guy sell anything? Makeshift jail key. Ring of aggression. Boost strength. That actually seems important. Very expensive, though. So the no salesman in Melv has a, an important ring. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Gold is a resource best spent judicious. Hast thou forgot thy destiny, thy charge? That is most unfortunate, but it doth not release thee from thy fate. We don't know the name of the new dragon. Well, I don't know. Set me on fire! I must summon reinforcements. It's okay, guys. I got this. I got this. Whoa, 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 whoa gonna stab him right in his head right in the eyeball get him he didn't like that but but I was up there on his head why am I in the ground now this lady's crazy she keeps shooting things that are way bigger than her this is not a good course of action lady I think the dragon was considering making her the Arisen. Run! Because the whole thing... Oh, by the way, he burnt my beard away, in case you guys missed that. He burnt my beard! Look at what he did! How could you burn my beard? Bastard! This is heartbreaking. <laughs> He 
You guys think she's pissed because she could have been the Arisen? So here, here's something that you guys might not understand. One of the things uh, about the, the dragon and the Arisen and the whole thing is like the dragon is actually looking for someone who is strong, right? Someone who is brave. And in a lot of ways, she fit the bill. So I think <clears throat> because she was, you know, she was aiming the bow, right? As everybody is dying, she's like, she's there. She's planning her ground. So I think that the dragon was considering making her the Arisen. And we kind of stole that off her. So she's probably like, hey, what the hell, man? I was going to be the Arisen. You've stolen my destiny from me. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. No heart feelings. <laughs> Thank goodness. How are you feeling? Well, I'm feeling pretty good right about now. This is the second time I've watched over you like this. Isn't it? I mean, you tell me. The second time, you say? You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? I was just reminded like five minutes ago. You withstood the fire in my stead and were well and truly charred. It was terrible. The worst part about that is how he burnt my beard away. Luckily, that came back. I had thought your life forfeit. I could not hear the beating of your heart. You hung on and by some miracle survived. I remember nothing. I'm sorry to hear that, though I cannot say I am surprised. Your burns could easily have killed you outright. A great many were bathed in the dragon's flames that day. All perished, save you. You must be special. I'm indeed. just built different. How else could you have survived to return here? Has he come for you? We are to part so soon then. This is the FBI, open up. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Oh, I'll come back here first chance I get. Till then. Take care. She's in love with me. Everson. She loves me. It's that simple. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. Mm, I don't think so. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. Okay. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. Very well. Speak with everyone we can think of who might know aught of use. Oh. Say, do you think this one's really arisen? I got wakestone shards from using official pawns? Tis a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? We ought to put it to good use. I didn't realize that. Okay. I mean, I know you can set up the quest yourself, 
But I wasn't aware that they already had quests set up. I haven't set up my own quests. I need to get on that. Let me just see if there's any loot around here. Because usually in these towers you can find some useful loot. So you have your twin as a pawn? No, my pawn is me. I'm the pawn. Aha! You say trouble, I say treasure. Flooded bow. This might be useful later on. Oh yeah, the um, the weapon they shot the griffin with. There's nothing in the horizon that I can actually shoot though. There's a camp over there, but I don't see any monsters or anything. All right. Oh. This is a powerful weapon. There's a, a single chest bolt loose there. from it. Would carry tremendous lethal force. This could grant us an edge in battle if we use it well. How oh, very convenient. That's a whole lot of spells that I don't plan on using. Oh. I can just sneak into somebody's house. I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. This is a nice place you got here. What's with all the beds? Oh. This is your house? Is this where we were? No, this isn't where we were. Well, you ought to not strain yourself. Not in your current state. Those burns could easily have killed you outright. I expect it will be some time before you fully recover. Okay. In the meantime, I'll just go ahead and steal this. I have a wake stone. Got him! We must take care not to throw it away by mistake. Yeah, I'm gonna place that one in my chest. Might be useful later. <clears throat> oh, what does this say? Let's have a look then. Crazy dwarf goes in town, loots everybody's place up. I like looking for treasures. Yoink. Yoink. <laughs> what could yon chest be hiding? I must know. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. So far, so good. Bro, there's so much good stuff in here. Shouldn't be anything in the stable, right? Yeah, chest's already been opened. Damn, this house is messed up. Oh, right, because the dragon attack destroyed this whole place. Okay, let's go talk to Sir Leonard. How are you doing, sir? How's the grub? Apparently there's a chest somewhere that we missed. I'm a filthy loot goblin. Wait, what? It's already looted, though. I guess she looted it, but for some reason it's still up there. Doesn't matter. Let's go meet Sir Leonard.
He really ought to have returned by now. Mayhaps his time I went. Well, Matt, <coughs> you're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? Yes. She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vocation. Well, now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any case. It is entirely up to you which vocation you adopt. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Pray be well. The Meister's Teaching is the most powerful skill that can be acquired by each vocation. Learning a Meister's Teaching requires the use of a special tome, which you will receive if you impress the vocation Meister with your abilities. However, the true potential of this skill can only be realized by those whose vocation is high enough. A moment long awaited. I knew it was only a matter of time before your skills reached a new height. If there is aught you wish to know of vocations, mayhap I can advise you. Should you dedicate yourself to a vocation, you will find that <laughs> new paths to master will open up to you over time. Try them as you like. Okay. Very well. There is no wrong. But I shan't take I was just up wondering if you would have a quest for us because I'm going to need to learn a Here skill from him we eventually. We also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? Let's go ahead and deposit a bunch of this stuff. Oh, the harspud got rotten. Don't need the bow. You'll want to make it a habit of constantly depositing stuff. Because if you don't, stuff goes bad. Like this thing, dried flour, this is already wasted. So we'll have to discard this. But, yeah. they pick up anything? Oh, damn! Limu is uh, picking up a lot of stuff. Here is where we go to buy new things. I want shield bash. And for my pawn, I want shield summons. He can also get shield bash, but I should probably get him something better. Oh, I can't buy those yet. I'm going to save because tusk toss, I think, is very important. I don't know if pawns use tusk toss as much as they should, but tusk toss is a big deal. So I'm going to save the rest of this. Just give them one each a thing. But we're still very early on. Again. We've barely done combat, so that's why we don't have that much vocations juice yet. Scrag of Beast. Most of the stuff in this village isn't even worth it, to be honest. All this looting and it's like, meh. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. You can Shall collect we see them if then. Ought to be found while we're here. Oh, so what's this going on? Is where you've been. Oh. Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead's waiting for you. Damn. We may benefit from pursuing the information. She came and get me down here. She's like, "Oi, we gotta go." Mayhaps this time I went looking for them. That place puts my hands on me. Yet the fault to befall him. Live with oh, he's outside. Nice. 
Ah, you've returned. Good timing, too. I have questions for you. One great question is the controller interface also made on Steam and Dragon's Dogma 2 to use the Switch controller. It's weird because there is a thing that will swap like the buttons around, but it will still have the colors of Xbox, but it will swap the buttons around to match the Switch controller, I think. First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. Are you ready to depart or do you need some time to prepare? I'm Good. Ready. Then let us be on our way. Technically, I should have rested at the end, to be honest, but I think we'll be fine. Let me just manually save, just in case. Um, but in regards to that controller question, so there's a setting here. Where... where is it? Button icon type. You see how you have type A, type C, and then there's type B? I think that type B would probably be the, the switch mode. Like, let me just look at it real quick. No, type B appears to be Xbox. That's weird. Shouldn't be. Yeah, this is the, like, let me actually remove my camera and you guys can see. If you look at the bottom right hand side, you can see that it puts A on the left side, so that essentially becomes uh, the switch controller setup. So yeah, that would be, what type was it again? Type C. Type C is the switch controller. It just has the Xbox colors. Okay. People say since it's uncapped, PS5 gets like 45, 50 FPS. Those people are either crazy or my PlayStation 5 isn't working properly because I can assure you that throughout most of my experience on PS5, it was more like hovering between maximum 35 and 25. That was probably the way that it was going. However, I did notice that some of the cutscenes had higher frame rate, but they were pre-rendered cutscenes. So the pre-rendered cutscenes can go higher, but that doesn't really this matter because it's a pre-rendered cutscene. Our strengths complement each other well. Onward! <laughs> adventure awaits! Right you are. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to it. Let's all that go to place. Healthy gobbles. I love that shield bash now actually sends targets flying. So satisfying. Like, watch this. Oh, he died before I hit him. We've earned ourselves a pat on the back. Overconfidence. This is 4K with FSR. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Is this the engine they're building wilds on? I believe so. But I don't actually know. Bonk! No, they drenched me. Rubrant. The Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermin. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet not all claims are true. Our kingdom sees many pretenders, but they are not dealt with. Regardless, do well not to invite my mistrust in our journey. Ooh, I can't wait to 
find out what's inside. Catch. Damn it, they stood in the way. I wanted to hit him with a rock. That would have messed him up. Parching concoction. Ooh, money. Silly gobbos. You're gonna go sleeping with the fishes today. Oh, there's stuff down there. Oh, this is where we were headed earlier. A profitable endeavor. That's cool. Guys coming? Is there nothing we can do about this obstacle? I'm ready to attack, Master. Might I be of Secrets. I'll rip the secrets from your flesh. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. I think these statues are going to be important for uh, a quest later. Oh, it's mostly horse buds up here? It's like a horse bud plantation. An impressive view. We can infer much of the lay of the land from here. I'd gladly cast aside my weapon and lay Look them at these out vistas. Here. The Arisen would permit it. Right, Wait. you are. Did we not open that chest over there? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. I fell. Blop. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, okay. We're, we're back here. The autosave is actually so much better in this than it was in the first game. One can see far to the distance from here. We are alone here, methinks. Perhaps we might stop a moment and find our bearings. I quite agree. Wait, where's my quest dudes? Where's Sir Gregor? They left me! How might we approach yon spire? Shall we search for a path to lead us to it? Bro, because I died, they left me! I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle- Shut up. These guys are like Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh no. Oh, here they are. Uh, are they? Find place to harvest some ingredients. No harm in picking a few. I don't know where the NPCs are. Hey, where's your boss? If you don't mind, sir. Oi. Halt. I think I might have just broken the game. Because I died in that cliff. Pray, slow your feet. You run too far. For the likes of me. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. Where did the NPCs end up in? What the hell? Because, like, there's not even a quest item for them. Oh, here they are.
Oh, damn, they're all the way down there. Okay. Come to think of it, different masters favor different pawns. One look, master, goblins. We have no means of exploiting there they our are. enemy's weakness. Let's go, boys. Wait, are you killing those gobbos? We might as well. There's a chest over there. Wouldn't it be great? Oh, I can just pick up people if they're sleeping. Take a shower, bro. Yeah, see, there was a chest over here that I missed. All right. Trounced our foe well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. We lost a decent chunk of maximum health. That's another mechanic wherein if you die too many times, you start losing max health. Oh, does the barrel not float? Literally unplayable. Oh no. They don't know how to come up ladders. They don't know how to climb ladders. I suppose I could use a moment to catch my breath. Don't do this to me. I wonder if they only have that one set path and now we have to like walk through the land because they won't cross over to this side. What the f <laughs> Super Rat, no! Saved. Thank you, Arisen. <laughs> Super Rat fell. <laughs> Come on, guys. I guess I have to follow them now. Oh no. Oh, maybe they're still like stuck because there's a goblin here. Okay, can we go this way now? This way, boys. Come on. Follow me. No? There you go. That's it. Now listen, we're going up the ladder, okay? Trust me on this. It's way faster if we go this way, okay? You have to trust me on this, Gregor. Can you issue them come commands like pawns? I don't think you can. Oh, uh, apologies, master. My mind was a thousand leagues away. No, he's not gonna climb the ladder. Okay, well, we have to do the... I'll be more careful. I'm sorry. Okay, bro, go ahead, lead the way. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. Oh god, these guys are gonna die to goblins. My curative magics are at your disposal. Well, I'm going to have all the goblin horns in the world. What are they doing?
You guys coming or what? By the time we get back to where we were, the goblins will have respawned. <laughs> Yes, the reason I'm playing early is because this is a review copy, guys. No challenge is beyond our combined might. Right, you are. How important is hate and hide in the game? It is important, but to be honest, the way that I look at it is you want to make a character that you like. That's the most important thing. Like, if you're going to min-max to the point where I'm going to make a tall, big, buff, super chunky character just because I want him to be able to grab things and whatnot. It is, I don't think that's a good way of looking at things. I see it more as like a bonus, you know? As far, my understanding is the smaller and uh, leaner your character is, Oi, the more stamina you, you have. Think you're going? Our destination is the border checkpoint. I'm not going anywhere, bro. You guys are the ones who got lost. But as I was saying, like, my understanding is the smaller and leaner a character is, the better it is at the, st the stamina side of things. The bigger and buffer a character is, the more they can grab, the more they can carry. I don't think that's as big of a deal as a lot of people make it out to be, because as you can see, I don't care. I made him a small, oh, fat guy, because I just wanted to have a dwarf. That, I think, is the most important. Just make a character that you think looks cool and that you want to play because you're going to regret it later if you don't. The issue is, Rurikon, that you think. That isn't allowed in this day and age. I know! Don't underestimate us small fat guys. Yup. Natural sprinters. Very dangerous you over short distances. Going. You'll hurt yourself one of these days. Oh, don't mind me. These things happen. By the way, team, if you guys are enjoying the stream, do remember you can hit the like button. It really helps me out. And also, there'll be plenty of more live streams and other Dragon's Dogma 2 content in our future. So feel free to subscribe, bell notification icon, and all that jazz so that you're notified of Hold all this. Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An arisen, by all appearances. An arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see. It is uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one Arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. Here you are, Master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. Oh, thank Limu. She got me something. Not exactly sure what it was, but... Useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's more to be found while we're here? Go on, grab stuff, do whatever you want. The 
the more you guys- Ooh, beetle! The more you guys pick up, the less I have to worry about. An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet it is nowhere in sight. Or may have befallen it. Best we press on. Sure thing, Sir Gregor. In the meantime, let me just go ahead and loot all of your supplies. You guys aren't using them. I'll probably need them more than ah, you. Ah, a material. Useful things, these. Yes. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. I'm looting your camp, don't mind me. Now, do you guys really need these boxes? I don't think you do. A Jasper. These are like for selling, I think. I don't know. I just stock everything. Ooh, lantern oil. You do not want to get uh, caught without lantern oil. You can trust me on that. Oh man, our weight is getting up there. So <laughs> it's almost like when I loot everything, like a goddamn goblin. You know, things start being a problem. <laughs> I'm gonna discard this because it's rotten. Oh, this apple's not looking good. Let's combine this. Uh, fruit robberant, sure. Where's salubrious drought? Oh, I need to make dried fruit out of these apples. Too much goblin loot. Okay, that evens things out. Let us continue on our way. Okay, so I think there's actually a usefulness to basically recovering these forgotten rift stones. But I'm not sure what that usefulness is. Forgotten rift stones can be found in various locations throughout the world. When you touch one, one of two events will occur. The rift stone will be restored. You'll be able to use the restored rift stone to summon unique pawns of a different nature to those that can be summoned in town. Two, a high level pawn will be summoned. A single high level pawn will be summoned, after which the rift stone will disappear. You will be able to hire this pawn without paying any rift crystals. So, I actually do not want to get high-level pawns, but I do want to restore these. Okay. I don't want to be summoning any pawns on it, though. So, this is our camping kit. I'm going to be giving this to Rurikon. Oh! Can we walk on this water, or do we get brined? Nope, brined. See, if I was a mage, I'd be able to get there. You're staring, Arisen. Has Orch Yonder caught your eye? Yeah. I don't think any of you guys can get there, though. Like, Super Rat could. I don't know if he has the the ability yet, the levitate ability. But it doesn't look like we have anybody that can help with this, so. Looks like it's getting nighttime. We're probably gonna camp here. Let me just check to see if there's anything up here. Oh, we might be able to cross over from this side and then smash our faces on the way down. Not from here. At last, the moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. Oh yeah, we can cross over. There's also a cave. 
What is this? Waterfall cave. It's an exciting discovery, but we ought not to lose Super Ad, where are you, bro? Whatever it is you need, I Heal shall me. gladly oblige. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there. I don't know what level of enemies will be in here, so I just want to check it out. Looks like I won't be able to go that way. Nought feels quite so wasteful as coming upon a fine piece of equipment after purchasing the very same item in a shop. <sighs> Sorry, and I expect that's a common occurrence in our line of work. I don't know how tough these are for our level right now. Let's find out. Oh, it's because it's nighttime. For a second, I thought somebody died or something. The absolute abuse. These are a little bit higher level than I would like, but figured since we're here, might as well explore this cave. Having more of these to hand ought serve us well in battle. Let us take care when and how we put them to use. What are you playing on? I'm playing on PC. Okay, we don't want to be fighting those. As you wish, I shall return directly. Those are going to be a pain in the ass, and we might actually lose some NPCs along the way. I could kill them, it's just I don't want to risk the NPCs dying more than anything, so... If, like, if I was solo, if I didn't have the NPCs following me, I probably would risk it, but... I don't want NPCs dying on my watch. Let me explore on this direction. You like from my pack master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Dude, there's so much to this cave. Yeah, I don't like this. Not with the NPCs around. Let's go back and actually head back to the main quest. We'll uh, come back to this one later. And there's a lot of directions that you can go in. So yeah. Dragon Man B, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Has been a while indeed. I haven't seen your name in, in chat in quite some time. Hope you've been doing good.
Let's at the very least go get that chest that I, uh, that I saw. Okay, night time. It's a good thing that there's a camp nearby. Out of the cave at last. Such dark depths take their toll on the spirit. Right you are. I like that you no this longer need to have pickaxes. Eyes on such an item. I expect my own master has yet to even discover it. In the first one, you needed to carry a pickaxe around to do this. So I think the chest was down there somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Oh crap, that's a one-way drop. That's dangerous. Such a magnificent tapestry of stars. Indeed, you are oh, well. Oh. Stone shard. Nice. Are at your disposal. Wait a moment. Can I climb up through here? I think we might be able to Skyrim our way up. Hopefully, because otherwise I'm kind of screwed. Yep. Yeah, you can Skyrim your way up here. So that's fine. There's something down there. Is it safe to descend? Okay. Let's go back to the camp. They really do follow your every command. Yes, they do. My faithful pawns. It was funny just seeing Super Rad face plant. place to harvest some ingredients oh I went the wrong way this is where we do it right here camp modest camping kit all right let's cook some food Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? Agreed. We ought to give ourselves a chance to recover ere we continue on our journey. <sighs> this is for you, Master. I thought it might come in useful. There. I've been the common. So, where's... Dude, what is going on with these NPCs? Every time I rest, they disappear. Where am I going to have to go get them now? Quiet hereabouts. Where are our foes lurking? I'll take the peace and quiet over a horde of enemies any day. Dude, where did they go? Have you guys seen Sir Gregor? You guys think they're still in the cave or something? There's no way, right? Interestingly enough, none of this happened the first time that I played the game. Oh, there they are. No, actually, it's just their two friends. What about the actual main guy? Where's Sir Gregor? 
Bro, Sir Gregor keeps getting his ass lost. Sir Gregor! You're not lost in the cave, are you, Sir Gregor? Sir Gregor, please, we really must be going. Oh, he's gone. Homie is gone. I'm about to infiltrate the city without him. I'm getting real tired of his nonsense. Let's see if he's further up ahead. First NPC death. He didn't die. I would get the tutorial message for resurrecting dead NPCs if he had died. See, he has a line that he says here that this is the result of the of the dragon. Thank you. Angry Wizrobe, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Trying to go in blind. That's good, dude. Appreciate you. Let me get that chest over there. Can I actually get there from here? Find out. <laughs> Age chore fish, really? Oh, damn. Okay. No, the brine. You can cross over to the other side from here. Meet, meet. I still can't believe that Sir Gregor is gone again. I want to try something real quick. Because I suspect that once we camp, one of the bridges will form. Or maybe that's when we reach the city. But there's a shortcut bridge that shows up after a campsite. Does meat still go bad? All food still goes bad. So it definitely seems like on this starting portion, they don't want you to wander too far off the beaten path. Which I'm not a big fan of. I feel like in the starting portion, you should be able to wander off if you want to. It was well worth the effort of breaking it. Let me see if the bridge is formed. I don't think it is. Oh, here he is. Hey, we found him. All right, perfect. Do you still use up stamina when running outside of combat? Yes, unless you're inside a town. Like this encampment here counts as a town, so you can just run and it's fine. But outside of it, you will consume stamina. And I think it makes sense because it has to do with uh, carry weight as well. Initially, I was thinking to myself that, like, why can I just run outside of combat and just have infinite stamina? And the reasoning is because of the weight that you're carrying. They want that to be a realistic hindrance 
which I can understand. The one thing that I don't like that they've removed as quality of life is when you are upgrading your weapons, uh, it no longer sees that you have the materials in storage. So you have to manually go to storage, get the materials, and then go upgrade your weapon. That I was like, okay, that's a bit much. Okay, like, I, I want an authentic experience and realistic and all of that, but making me ferry back and forth between my storage and the blacksmith? Ah, uh, especially when in the city I have infinite stamina anyway, so who cares? Rambo the Nerd, thank you very much for the souls, you giga chat. Damn, thank you, I appreciate it. Tip of the hat, thank you very much. You got me in the Dragon's Dogma a couple of weeks ago. Thanks and excited to play tonight. Bro, I hope you have a good time. I've been absolutely loving the game. Can't recommend it enough. Uh, as far as I'm aware, there's no mounts in the game. Hi. I've got a good feeling about this one. Oh, God. I swung before I saw the explosive things. Wow, super rad. What are you doing? I'm dying over here, bro. How might you be of aid? How about you drop me a goddamn heal? Where is he taking him? Oh, what a chat. He put two of them in there and then just killed them. All right. I'm a loot while you guys are doing your thing. A thousand gold? Nice. These were like some rich goblins over here, dude. Yeah, I think Calm appears to be the best one for tanks. I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! It might await us on the road ahead. Oh, hello. Yoink. There's also goblins, it seems. me than I would have liked. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. Okay. It's mostly spell books that we've seen I'll so far. I could make that shot. Oh, I hello. Seeing your marksmanship. What's An astounding in here? Discovery. Soft Indeed. neck wrap. I'll take that. Oh, it's a cape. Good on you for being so observant. Like a scarf. It 
Fifteen hundred gold just lying in the ground. We're picking up quite a few bits of loot. Now there's a worthy prize. Wait Can a I minute. Work so far away? I don't have the jumping thing yet. High. Oh, there's a chest here too. Ring of Indifference. Reduces damage take from strike attacks. That was some quick thinking. My own master will wish to hear of this, I'm sure. What? Jumping up here? No, we can't do that. You will need something to be able to reach up there, and I can't do it with these characters yet. Like, Springboard would actually get us up there. This is generally Which is one of the reasons why my pawn's always going to have shield springboard. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Okay, boys, get him. See, our fight is not yet done. Two arms. Materials around here? Oh, we can go up there using the logs. No! No! Maybe this log's better. There we are. Oh, there's actually nothing up here. I thought I was going to be like all forehead and stuff. Oh well, a little bit of green varish. All right, let's get back down. Ooh. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I am by your side. Okay, Super Rad, you're making it weird. You have your own master. How's he going to feel about that? Rurikon, will your pawn be available immediately at the first rift stone? Yes. We've already seen him, even. Oh, dude! like we got him. Now, I do want you to shoot that thing. Can you? No, not that. The ladder. Shoot the ladder. The ladder, Limu. Ooh, I can't wait to find out what's inside. No, shoot the ladder. Well, that's disappointing. Can I throw something at it, maybe? Well, master, I hope you like it. I found it myself. Shoot the ladder! She's shooting the barrel instead of the ladder. The ladder! I don't think I have anything I can throw. No, that's unfortunate. 
I don't think I can jump it. Nope. Oh well, we can't go up there yet. Throw your pawn? I mean, I could. I don't think that's going to be very good. I'll gather these now. It would be a shame to forget their location. Come here, Super Rad. Listen, Super Rad, we're going to make a science experiment, all right? Oh, nice. There you go. Now loot that place up. Hey, good job. Or do that. Exploring a new location. Cavern is of the Forsaken. Daunting. Can I push this off? Risen. I shall be ready to respond at the first sign of trouble. What do you mean? It's closed. I don't think we actually can go there yet. Yeah, we can't actually go here yet. It's locked. No, 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 no. I don't want you to do that. Oh, well. Oh, my God, that worked. <laughs> I like I like a guy's like, throw it. And then you're like, oh, it worked. <laughs> That's the beauty of this game, the open-ended nature of it. It's fantastic. Worth the price, I wanted, but I'm still thinking. If you like what you've seen so far in it, yes. I would highly recommend. I think it's going to be amazing. Even if you're just playing on PS5 or Xbox, I still think it's worth it. Because there's nothing else quite like it. That's the this thing about this game. For a campsite. The sun is yet to set. We could rest here now or press on a while longer. We're going to press on. I enjoy tackling fierce Dude, foes. These dudes are like Jehovah's Witnesses. They're everywhere. Always trying to sell their goods. What's this? We're trapped. Are we? Uh oh. So an important thing here, I know that everybody saw in the trailer, you can just grab the barrels, throw them at the rocks, boom, water comes out, washes away the cyclops. I'm not going to do that. And let me tell you why. First time I did that, it killed two of the NPCs that are with me right now. So I'm not doing that. I, the cyclops, to think we'd encounter one here of all places. A cyclops! Hey! We A cyclops! There! We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness! Our food is stumbling! Are you stumbling? Oh no! Oh no! Oh crap, I can't actually push him. There it is. Oh god, don't fall on top of me. Critical hit! Critical hit! Taken you for another false arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the value you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this as a mark of my trust. Give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. 
You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the ox cart. It is your decision. Well now. The road's blocked. The cart can't get through like this. A powerful current ought to set this rock to crumbling, if we could summon one. Yeah, I'll get right on it. <sighs> what if I threw a rock instead of an explosive? Will that also break it? I doubt it. I didn't even reach it. Uh, but there are explosives Water's around here. The here. What could be the cause? All right. I love how it also moves the corpse of the Cyclops. hereabouts. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Very yes. Well. Board the ox cart and we'll be off. Before I do that though, I'm gonna loot this up. I've got a good feeling about this one. We're not gonna take the camp thing because it's the same one that we already have. It's a modest camping kit. An I will, however, to make restore this. Would allow us to save our strength, assuming we are not attacked by this. <clears throat> All right, the adventure begins. Oh, we got boarded by goblins already. Goblins! What rotten luck! We've need of your aid again, sir. Let's go, boys. God damn. See ya. Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Pay me. Burnworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? Absolutely. Right. Into the ox cart then. Dude, we're already level nine. I'm playing on PC. I was informed of your coming would be a result. This is a set piece. It usually doesn't happen like this when you ride ox carts. Ox carts just teleport you, and they'll teleport you either to your destination or to a random encounter that will happen along the way. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first. It would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. 
As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one Arisen. That Arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. I will not be insulted like this. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I am offended. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. That's more like it. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. I don't then understand. you truly lost your memory? In that case, may I, I ought to explain the situation before we proceed? You, and no other, are the sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days past, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule, Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Geyser of everything. During the time of the previous consul, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Pawns can break the cart, and so can I. I actually broke the cart by driving a goblin through it. I drove the goblin through the cart. Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Consarn it! Get back here! You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Nope. Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. I have no idea where he went. You're a kind one, aren't you? It would seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are! Oh. Apologies, but our chat will have to wait. It's Daniel Radcliffe. Well, we meet. Farewell. Run, Potter, run! Rui, how tall are you compared to others? Like this. This is the smallest you can be. You can't really make a goblin. They'll be too tall to be goblins. They'd be like the big goblins, I guess.
Okay, we've made it to the big city. This is where you'll see the biggest FPS drops is in this city. I don't know why that is, but like the city is just rough all around. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Just looking for some stuff to loot. I know that there's a bunch of stuff around here in town. Let me just go through here. Can you recruit pawns from other people early on? Yes, very early on. This might be worth a read. Shall we take a closer look? I've heard some interesting tidings about town. Regarding the Vermundian military, yes? Indeed. Tell We're gonna keep a fairy stone on us. Just in case we need it. Okay. A common quarter. Oh, uh, the vocation guild is down here, and then up here is the inn, so I'm going to drop my storage real quick. Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated. Good lord, that's a lot of things. Okay, I should combine some of this before I send it over. But, things like this, we can just send over as well as this. Uh... Okay, send all this over. Wait, I'm still average? Too much food, I guess. Damn. Yeah, we have too much food. I need to do some combinations as well. And I should probably do some combinations of these too. Also, send this back to me. Oh, damn it! Not what I meant to do. To the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. Actually, I can just combine from here and that will work. But before that, give me this. Do, 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 do. Okay, we don't know what this is, so we'll create one. Do I want to do dried meat? The good thing about dried meat is that it doesn't run out, so yeah, sure. Fruit. For dried fruit. Exquisite broberant. <sighs> Do I want to make... I only have one dried meat, so no. Dried fish? Yeah, dried fish, we can make all this. Because you can't really cook dried fish at camp. And then we have some salubrious draught we can make. It's nice. Mighty Robberant. Uh... No, let's leave some of those. Okay. 
We have some rotten fish too. Yay. Actually, no, leave that stamina. The exquisite can go. And I think we'll be good for now. Much obliged. Let's get rid of this. It's about to be nighttime, so we can go get our first quest. You don't need it. You know you didn't need it. You know you weren't using that. Don't lie. Slightly boosts maximum health. Put that in our left hand. Greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here, we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word. Do, 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 do. What's my vocation rank? Three. So we're still going to be with this vocation for a while. <clears throat> You're going to get this augment. And for you, we're going to get all of these. What does Steeled Foundation even do? Oh, it doesn't matter. I actually didn't need that. Now, we want Shield Summons. We definitely want Shield Springboard. Going to equip that. And Shield Bash. The one thing that will eventually change is Blink Strike, because I don't want that on him. Now for me, wait. You want Tusk Toss? True Deflect. But we also need to start unlocking more of these. We want to unlock the Thief. Do not change to it. I don't need summons, and I don't think I need springboard. Not yet, anyways. Maybe later. Forgive me, but I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, we are unable to outfit new members. And we cannot simply purchase more, as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblins. So regrettably, I cannot assist you. Unless you were to procure a weapon yourself, that is. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Nothing. I'm good. Thank you. Methinks Roderick will be able to tell you aught of the stolen shipment. He runs the local armory, and we purchase almost all of our stock from him. May fortune smile upon you, sir. Okay. We should begin by asking ourselves, where is it? And how can we get it? So, an important thing is, I need to go ahead and I need to deposit, because we just got a full well, set of man, gear. You soon Whenever you a long buy a vocation, you, you get a full set of gear. So, no, I need to deposit that. Otherwise, we'll get a smidge too heavy. So, it should be this. Okay. Most hospitality in all. Also, we no longer need the missive, right? Yeah, we no longer need this. Vernworth. Much obliged. Also, let's get to using these. So he said Roderick would know about the weapons. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Oi, friend. Klaus sent word that you've agreed to rescue some of my pilfered equipment. I'd be grateful for aught you can reclaim, truly. Fair warning. Goblins are behind these ox cart raids, I've since learned. No doubt they're hoarding the stolen arms in their den from the tell of it. 
Their lair lies somewhere along the western road. Pray do be careful. If all were to go awry, it would weigh heavily on my heart. Oh no. Losing my wares for good would make me sore. But no sack of gold could compare to a fellow life, eh? Isn't it about time we had ourselves a meal? Oh, what I wouldn't give for a bowl of hot stew. Okay, it's also time for us to update our pawns. There's apparently a chest somewhere. Is it on the rooftop or something? Oh no, it's down here. This looks as good a place as any. Nice, 400 gold. Okay, let's go have a quick word with Sir Brant if he's around, because it is night time. Yep. Welcome to the Star Drop Inn. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? We have 16,000 gold. Buy everybody around. Buy everybody around. <laughs> Big spender like that. Everybody loves the Arisen. Okay, Captain. Now that we've wet our whistle, let's talk. Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. Tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. Oops. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace, but the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. Monster calling Queen Region Magistrate. So, the way that this is going to work, you're going to need to do all of these quests. So, we're going to start with Monster Calling. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to call monsters that plague the land. I dare say... It would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? You can save at rest spots, but you can't manually save from the menu like one. Who, who told you this? Who exactly told you I this? I thank you, Your Majesty. Because you're wrong. There are three locales that I've seen significant trouble of late. The first is Trevo Mine. To the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermont. There is a manual save. If you go system, save, save and continue. Manual save. But you only have one save file. That part is true. But you can save anywhere. We have not to fear if we default to the experience at our disposal. Vocation frustration. <clears throat> Yeah. 
He's doing his best. All right? Look, he's doing his best. You leave him alone. <laughs> oh, look at that sexy fucking dwarf. You're right, fighting cowboy. It is a sexy dwarf. His poor stubby little legs, dude. He's doing his best. <laughs> well met, sir. Let's go ahead and rest for the evening. And then I'm probably gonna swap pawns. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right on the roads, despite the hour. Yes, I shall did. Shall we get some rest then? Yes, we shall. Oh my god, people already taken my pawn? Travel together for day and night. I traveled with a party that comprised only men. Nary a useful item or precious trinket escaped my notice. These experiences shall aid me in further honing my skills. <laughs> the guy who ran in my pawn is called Giga Chad. <laughs> Oh, you can't see a pic. He's level 44. What the hell? <laughs> Sir Giga Chad Maximus took my pawn out. That's me. Oh, it's you? <laughs> Though our foes were familiar, our tactics were most novel. It was an edifying journey all in all. I trust we've all inspected our equipment. Come. Yes. We've much to be getting on with. I okay. hope you slept well. Oh, port crystal, right. Let's grab that. Boink. Okay. So I'm curious. Does it update instantly? Because now that we've rested, my pawn should be a higher level, I think. Oh, my pawn doesn't even show up anymore. Oh, because these are sorted by level. Bloody Pinguino, thank you very much for being grossly incandescent for 30 months. As a long beard, you giga chad. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Can't wait to play this tonight. Oh, I'm loving it. So my pawn should be level 9 now. Yeah, here he is. Level 9. Alright. Oh, he's just set up to give people wakestone shards. Oh... Because my pawn is an official pawn, I can't do the quest thing. I didn't know that that was going to be the case. So only players with regular pawns can do the quest thing. See, this is a this is actually a feature that I think is really interesting, where you can just set a quest for your pawn, and whenever somebody completes the quest, uh, you know they get a reward. But then again, people are just getting wakestone shards from using the official pawns. That's that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. That is definitely something that people want to take advantage of. Bloody Ping, we know. Thank you very much for making five people grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. That's one, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thoughts on the game so far? Absolutely love it. Okay. Now then, let's go ahead and I'm going to take another official pawn. We're at level nine, so I can just take a level eight. Oh, and Fuchsia is already at level eight as well. I believe that uh, Paradise's pawn was level eight. Yeah, we can take this. So we'll summon him to replace Laimu. Hey, 
Hey, there's paradise. If your pack grows over full, simply ask me to sell off your surplus items. I'll have the gold for you in a trice. Does he? Uh, he's a hawker. Okay. Uh, oh crap, I always forget that you're supposed to give them something. Uh, here is... An emergency vitality. There. Good job. I'm only glad to have proven my worth. Bye-bye. Let us work together to honor the Arisen's trust. Bro, this pawn sounds nothing like paradise. <laughs> Okay, we need another level 8 or level 9. I was trying to see if I would recognize more people, but I don't. I'm going to take whoever's pawn is that... Oh, we'll take Anfusia. I want to see if she has the fuchsia hair. You can't get that in this game, can you? I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. This doesn't look like her at all. But all right. Ozer Har, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is Asmund Gold's official pawn already up and running? I don't think so. Work on no funeral for your dead pawn. You move on so quickly. None of the pawns died. What do you mean? Bye, Super Ads pawn. I'm going to give you a mighty rubberant. There. Good job. I hope my magic served you well. May our paths cross again someday. It will be an honor to serve by your side. Urkan is your official pawn only available on PC? Unfortunately, yes. I tried to see if they would let me do something where I could have one on PS5 as well, but nope. No dice. This rumor has been troubling me ever since I first caught wind of it. Apparently, there is an illness we pawns can catch beyond the rift that makes us a danger to ourselves and others. Symptoms include an unruly attitude and overconfidence. And in the end, we turn our backs on our master and our duty. So first and foremost, let me just see. Do we have any time-sensitive ones? No. Okay. So before we do any of these, I actually want to go well, we to... Well, have to remain watchful. Melv. One of our companies should start showing signs of this sickness. This is the one that goes this to Melv, I think. Yeah. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Okay, take me to Melv. Bro, main Order city is rough friend. on frames. Care to help a fellow out? All I ask is that you hear my request. What have you got to lose? Okay. My thanks, sir. As to the matter at hand. It concerns my ox cart business. I've been holding off service on account of all the monsters on the road, but now I feel prepared to start making trips to Melv again. Only trouble is, there are still monsters about, and I can't help but worry for the safety of the carts. That's where you come in. See, I've got a letter here from Lady Margit, the watchhead's wife, to be delivered to one Sir Leonard in Melv. I'd like you to accompany the cart in my stead and see to it that the letter reaches its recipient. What say you, friend? Sure. Splendid. I knew I was right to put my faith in you. Now, the cart's only the Yeah, cart. I know how and carts mind work. You don't forget to pay your way before you board. Each I already cart paid. Travels with an escort. So anyone thinking of riding yeah, for yeah, yeah. my lecturing Oh, I will. I'll pay your fare this time. No, you won't, because I already paid it. Come find me when you've delivered that letter. Oh, he gave I'm me 200 gold. Him. Okay. We have a delivery to make, it would seem. Okay. 
That was actually very convenient. Hey, we made it through. Time to find Sir Leonard. It's been a hard day. We have reached our destination. Mayhap we can employ... Hell, if you've a moment to spare, I'd like a word. As you can see, we're rebuilding. A task that can always benefit from another pair of hands. What say you? Would you be willing to help? Rurikon, can a pawn be hired by more than one player? Yes. Excellent. You're a good sort. I'll not soon forget this. Here's what I need from you. A bask of Saurians has made their nest outside the village. Though they're yet to cause any harm, their proximity makes the villagers uneasy. I'd like to enlist your aid in driving them away. I've prepared some explosive casks and left them by the village entrance. Use them to send the Saurians scattering. Will do. Our monsters of fearsome strength is true, but I've yet to meet a foe that explosive casks can't scatter. I. What can I do for you? Here's your letter. Ah, a letter from Lady Margaret, you say? It is a fair way you've come, then. My thanks. She's a kindly sort, I must say. We met when I worked with her husband, Sir Gregor, on one occasion. Now she's taken to inquiring after my health at the turn of every season. Shall we report back now? That Lady Margaret's a kindly... Sir Gregor's wife is maybe being unfaithful. Uh, the quest is no longer timed, it seems, so I'm good there. We'll still mark that one as the active one for now. The letter has reached its recipient. Shall we inform Sir Donovan, Master? Follow me, Master, if you would. I'll bring you to the one you seek. Shut up, Paradise. The guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Oh, right, I'd forgotten about this. Hey. Oh, have you some business with the apothecary, sir? Dreadful sorry if I was in your way. Oh, no, I'm not lost or not, sir. You needn't worry yourself on my account. I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. So when I heard tell of a medicine only to be found in this village, I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. Made the journey all by myself as well, if you can believe it. But, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. Uh... How early can you get the warrior vocation? Very fast. It's super easy to get. I don't have a video where to get all the vocations, but Fighting Cowboy has one of those probably going up tomorrow, I would expect. I'm interested in buying the game. I normally play Call of Duty and Diablo 4, and for something else to play, recommendable. The thing is, this is very different from those games. You have to watch some more gameplay to understand how this works. It will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. But what more can I do? What? You'd do that? You'd get the medicine for me? Yes. I suppose there's no harm in that. If you're really sure... Oh, sir... I'd be most grateful. Seems my luck's not as rotten as I thought. I'll wait right here for your return, sir. And many thanks for your kindness. We could make the fruit rubberant ourselves, or simply purchase some at Rune's apothecary here in Melv. Hello again, sir. Say, have you brought some fruit rubberant for me? Yes. So this is what it looks like. Brilliant. Many thanks, sir. Has the AMD driver helped performance at all? I wasn't aware that there was a new one. I haven't much to offer in return, but I'll be sure to tell Grandfather what you did for us. He'll want to reward you proper-like, I'll bet. 
It was a pleasure to recount such good tidings. Hey, we got Ring of Exaltation. Nice. This is actually really good. Oh, I thought it was a different one. Still good. Why is my dude on average? Oh, he's carrying the, the big thing. Okay, we completed that one. Uh, I forget exactly where it was that the other dude wanted us to go. Uh, let's actually put this one. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Should have named your pawn Rip Pawn. No, no, no. My pawn is me. When you rent him, it's like you're playing with me. That's the whole idea. Hey, Saurians! I see you guys are sleeping. Enjoy! No. <laughs> See ya. Oh my god. Hey bro, I sorted you out. Well, that appears to have sent some of the beasts reeling at least. To finish the job, I'd have you drop a jar of poison into their nest. Yes, yeah, salt the earth. Luck, the Saurians will realize that they chose a perilous spot and steer clear of the village boundary in future. But pray, take care not to drop it in the river. The villagers use that water on a daily basis. You must make sure your aim is true. Are we clear? Good. You'll find the jars of poison just outside the village. Toss one into the Saurian's nest, and your task is done. Now we're to throw a jar of poison. Be sure to handle it with care, Master. But I'm bum bum. Da dun dun dun. Hey, what's up, Saurians? Get out of my way, bro. What are you doing? Hey, get poisoned. Have you forgotten something? Well done, Master. Those Saurians shan't dare approach the village for some time, thanks to your efforts. One could not have hoped for a gladder outcome. Twenty-two hours for story? I played the game for 25 hours, but then again I actively avoided story. And I didn't even get to see the whole map. That sounds completely insane. Oh, I'm supposed to actually go over here to turn this in now? Oh, you're here! Ha huh? you're here! You've done as I asked, I see. Many thanks for your efforts. And I must say, you've a fine arm. I couldn't have done better myself. Watching you got me thinking. Mayhap you've the sense to inherit the skills I possess. <laughs> or perhaps it is a little early for such talk. How many rift crystals does it cost to hire your pawn? I think it's free right now. In any event, thanks to the work you've done for us today, the rebuilding efforts ought to proceed apace. And for that, I'm grateful. All done, then. Mayhap we ought to pay a visit to Travo Mine and search for the armorer's wares. Relax, Paradise. You're getting a little bit too excited. We'll do Oxcart Courier Very first, well. but... I heard a dude complaining in town here. Now we shan't lose our way. Sweep and dust? Gonna have to do a little bit more than sweep and dust. What am I to do? You really ought to have returned by now. What's wrong, buddy? Is that you, Norbert? No. Ah, oh, fie. 
I got my hopes up for naught. Wait, listen. Would you be willing to search for my brother? The brave fool said he was going to look for herbs and went off into the forest. I've seen no sign of him since. I'd go and search for him myself, only... Only... It is a dangerous place. Understand? Yeah, I understand. I, I'm not afraid of monsters. Which would hardly help anything if I were to run in there unprepared and get myself hurt now, would it? I guess. So I thought, mayhap, you'd go in my place. You look like you could manage those woods better than I. Please, sir. I worry for my brother. Many thanks. Right. As for where I think he's gone, go into the forest and turn when you reach the tree with the bird's nest, keeping the cliff to your right. Ah, this won't work, will it? I could see the root in my mind's eye, but my feet know it better than I do. I don't think I could plot it on a map, and it's hard to describe, but my brother and I are the only ones who use that path, to my knowledge. I suppose there's only one thing for it. I'll have to show you the way. Just be alert. The monsters of the forest have changed since the dragon's attack. I'll need you to watch over me. Keep me safe. You will, won't you? Of course. Right. In we go, then. My life's in your hands, friend. We must make haste if we are to arrive in time to assist. This is Leonard's house? I'm gonna steal his money. I also want to speak to her before we leave, but right now we got to do this quest because it's a timed quest. I'll have to take this path this way. Let me get that. Look at these gorgeous vistas. I still can't believe that there's people saying, oh, it looks just like Dragon's Dogma 1. I'm like, bro, get your eyes checked. My graphics aren't even at maximum, by the way. This is this is trees on low. Okay. Though to be honest, I could probably put it on high, and I don't think it'll be a difference, because the problem is the city. The city is the the biggest problem, really. So like I could just go in here and be like Boom. As a matter of fact, I'm curious, what if I just do this? Just put the textures on high as well. Yeah, it runs fine. It's just that city, dude. I don't even need to make as many sacrifices as I've been making. It's just that stupid city that runs like ass. You know, outside the city, it actually runs fine. You can have everything maxed out. Although I still wouldn't put shadows on max. Actually, no, I am going to put it on max. Fuck it. Let's see how it runs. It still runs fine. It's like 55 FPS right now, 60. Problem is just that city, dude. The city is the issue. <clears throat> How do you know what is a timed mission? Oh, this one actually isn't timed. I thought it was. But you get a an hourglass next to the the hand symbol that you see there there's an hourglass telling you oh this is a timed quest i thought this one was but this i guess it's not spot. let's stop here a moment not sure if you've answered this before is being a dwarf noticeably bad i mean if you mean in terms of performance i haven't Can't noticed anything with my brother many a time no doubt he caught his breath here before moving on same as us Hmm. 
see goblins up ahead. Let's get the high ground. You'll not live. I grant you no flame. <laughs> I didn't throw him off. I threw him against the other one. Intentionally. I could have thrown him off, though. We have found a material. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. Let me actually look at my inventory. We have some aged scrag of beasts and ripened harse buds. That's not good. I can't combine it with anything. Rip. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. Was most effective. Bridges in this game are destructible, so you gotta be careful with that stuff. More aged scrag of beasts. I'll probably make some dry meat. Dried meat doesn't run out, so... Yeah. Cooling and fire quenching elements. Okay, we don't need that. Hello. Oh. Cape. It's about the same as mine. Endeavor. What's that noise? Oh, hello. Be taking that. How important is food now? Do you think it's necessary to cook food? No, not really, but you'll get buffs for it. So no reason not to do it. Can anyone hear me? Please, I need help. We're coming, chill. Wolves, master. Fire will prove effective against this threat. Let my magic strike with an elemental boom. Where is it? Are you all right? Rank four needs two more ranks. <clears throat> I thought I was done for. Anfushia just feels the need to be on camera. She's like, listen, 
listen. <laughs> she felt self-conscious after that. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh, it's a near thing. How are you mm. feeling? I think I'll be all right. But if you hadn't come for me, I... Thanks, Ian. Save your thanks, Norbert. I'm your brother. And I ought to have come sooner. Angry Scott's Dat 23, thank you very much for being grossly incandescent for 35 months. As a long beard, you giga chad. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Can't wait for my copy tomorrow. Disappointed, though. I won't be able to have your pawn as I'm playing on PS5. I'm sorry. I wanted to make a... Uh, I wanted to make a pawn for PS5 as well, but it didn't work out. From where I'm standing, all that matters is that you made it in time. Anyway, I'm eager to be rid of this place. Let's return to the village, shall we? The sooner the better. I've got to deliver these medicinal herbs to the people who need them. Ah, you'll hear no complaints from me. Let's be off then. We ought to avoid God damn. That, if we can. Our priority is Use these flames to smite our enemies. Dude, why was Paradise just like having a blast over here murdering everything? Let's get back to town before these two idiots die. Is there a friendly fire? Nope. I'd wager our married band can handle whatever comes. We ought to have no trouble on the journey ahead. Right you are. Hey Herman Garland, what's up dude? Is the FPS on PC an issue? Only in the main town. In the main town it's really bad. Outside of it? I'm actually running on everything maxed out right now. Ow. Listen here, buddy. Take a swim. Ingenious. My own master must hear of this tactic. <laughs> this is not what I expected. Let's go. Does this also lead to the town? Oh no, this is a separate path. We probably don't want to go through that with the dudes, because there might be some important stuff down there. Let's just head back to town. Are you playing at locked 60 FPS? I mean, I have the game set to not go above 60 because my monitor only does 60. But it's fluctuating between 50 and 60. Because I have the visuals all maxed out. But once we get into towns, it's going to slow down, and you guys will notice that. Is loot random in this game? Uh, loot that you get from enemies, I believe so. But I think that chests are static. Where are you going, Paradise? You sure it's this way? Paradise, where are you taking us? No. What video card do you use? Right now I have the 6900 XT. I am attentive and loyal and prefer to I don't know if there's a way to prevent random pawns from approaching you, but I wish there was. 
Because usually when I want to do pawns, I'll go to a rift stone. Back at last. That was an ordeal. I I'm exhausted, but I can rest after I've delivered these herbs. I'll be back soon. Good on you. Just take care, all right? You wonder why I don't follow him? So long as he stays away from that forest, he'll be fine on his own. When my brother told me he was going to fetch those herbs, I refused to join him. Said it was too dangerous. What with the monsters acting strangely of late? Is the PS5 version locked at 30 frames? No, it's 30 frames unlocked. Uh, you can get it out of the PS5 or PC. If you have a beastly PC, like say 40, 70, 40, 80 levels, or 60, I guess the 6800 or 6900 XT, or higher than that, then I think you probably should get it on PC. But if it's too much lower than that, I would probably go PS5. And I was right. I may have none of this would have happened had I only gone with him. You reckon it'll run fine on a 2080 Super? I don't know. Maybe at 1080p? I don't know. My brother is always the one taking the initiative. While I stand around with my hands in my pockets. But today's misadventure showed me that the path forward is the one with fewer regrets. Even when you can't be sure where it leads. We managed to save Norbert. Perhaps that's all that matters. Still, I can't help but wonder if I couldn't have spared him some of the pain and fear he suffered. If I'd only steeled myself sooner. So from now on, I'm going to trust in my own instincts. Never again will I let fear stop me from doing what I know to be right. You get him, buddy. He's rather hard on himself, methinks. He saved his brother just as much as we did. Mayhap we ought to pay a visit to Traver. Ah, uh, we have 18,000 gold. Oh. Um, and search for the armorer's wares. Considering well, buying the, the ring here. Directly. Hmm. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Let's go ahead and talk with... I forget what her name is. Ulrika. I only work when I find. I'm in your debt, sir. You helped me learn a valuable lesson today. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to talk with her. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Ah, excellent find. The last would that you were our sovereign. Oh, she doesn't have anything to say. Okay. They pointed out a ladder. Oh. I think I've already been up there, though. Never mind. Yeah, I've already been up there. Okay. Let's go ahead and head back, I guess. We're going to head back to Vernworth. The ox cart should be here. Yeah, here it is. Hey, brother. Burnworth. In every age, hence, horns are treated with... I'm not taking any passengers to... Damn you. Fine. We'll wait. If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be worth considering. Walking everywhere. This ox cart's bound for Burnworth. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Okay. In that case, we should go ahead and complete ox cart courier. The letter has reached its recipient. Shall we inform Sir Donovan, Master? I need to take a quick bathroom break, so I'll be right back. Ah, yes. I know just where to find this person. Uh, follow me. A guide is most welcome. And while I'm away, you guys can go ahead, hit that like button, and subscribe, and do all the things. I'll be right back.
job better be worth it. It's too bloody early. All this worrying's giving me an achy back. Now here's a welcome sight. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. Not so fast travel, right? Not so fast travel. Get there. What delights my dear beast find in town today? I didn't realize there was like uh, different camera shots for when you're in the ox cart. No, no, no. You can fall asleep, Andre. You can fall asleep and arrive at the destination. I just did it like this because I was in the bathroom. And I guess I'm going to go eat a yogurt real quick. Grab myself a little snack. How are you guys enjoying the game so far? You can't skip this. You can. You can skip it. I'm not. Again, I'm not doing it because I was getting coffee. I went to the bathroom, so I just let it play out. Are you guys enjoying the the game so far? Because me personally, I friggin' love this. Because like, you guys know how I when you know at the tail end of Rise and Sunbreak, I was saying, man, I wish there was more inconveniences. This is that game. There's a ton of inconveniences, and I friggin' love it. It's really cool to see how it works, too. Like, you see the two pawns up ahead? We aren't enjoying it, Rurikon. We still have to wait like the peasants we are. I'm sorry. I know it's torture. I wonder how I enjoy this game. What I meant is, like, from the gameplay that you're watching. Jesus, I'm trying to have a conversation, guys. Relax. Ah, uh, hell is it? Oh crap! Wait, are they gonna be able to kill them? I grant your weapon a magical boon. Dude's trying to push through. 
<laughs> she they screamed in my face. Bro, what the hell? Okay, go boys, attack. Get him, Paradise! Okay. Wait, there's still stuff? No, we should be good now. This journey will be a long one. What say we employ an ox cart and save our feet the blisters? A most agreeable suggestion. Of course, why can't I sit down? Have the final say in the matter. Are people still fighting or something? Okay, there we go. Sit down. I want to go back to enjoying my my tasty snack. Very happy to see performance. Not actually a big issue. It is an issue when you're in town. You guys will see that when we're in town right now, when we get back to Vernworth, it is an issue. Like, there's definitely problems in Vernworth. But I also feel like if you're going to judge the whole game based on a performance in Vernworth, that's, that's a little bit disingenuous, right? Because I saw uh, somebody made, like, a Twitter post yesterday, and they were saying, oh, my God, look at these terrible frame rates. And then I'm like, whoa, wait, what? Then I look at the very top right-hand corner of the of the um, the image on the post. Or was it the left side? It was the left side. There's like this tiny little drop-down box that says uh, Vernworth testing error. And I'm like, so you tested the frame rate exactly where the game runs like ass. You didn't test it anywhere else. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Console looks fine. 2010, my ass. What, what are we talking about? This game? The game looks great on console. I still I still don't understand if maybe YouTube just doesn't do a good job of portraying the visuals because of algorithm compression and whatnot. But I can assure you, the game looks absolutely gorgeous. It's one of the best looking games I've played in a while, actually. Remember, like you said, posting negative shit gives you more clicks. Yeah, people are farming like they're 30 cents on Twitter or whatever. With that engagement bait. What's the rig? I'll give you a DX Diag, okay? There. Um, can you zoom in on this? Oh, I need to save it and then I need to use another software to zoom in. This will actually be convenient for when people ask me about this again. That was me. I'm sorry. Here's the rig. Let me get that. And here's the GPU.
There. You can go back on stream and watch that. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. It would allow us to save our strength, assuming we are not attacked, that is. Chat, is this a fast travel of the game? No. I've already traveled by ox cart. Volstrax? Yeah, you guys like the name of my PC? <laughs> Are we going to be seeing some fighter shenanigans? Yeah, but I actually plan on playing another vocation very soon. The only reason we're traveling this slow is because I'm eating a snack right now. Okay, relax. Does the game encourage you to change vocations? Yes. Is it expecting you to level them all up? Not unless you want to. My next vocation is probably going to be Sorcerer, because I don't intend on playing Sorcerer, and I want to get that one out of the way. Marcus Jones, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. No, I haven't unlocked Warfare. Oh God. He just rammed right through. Good job, buddy. Good job. I'll combine my magic with yours, that you might pass the spell more quickly. Okay. There's a random brigand. Alright, here's how fast travel actually works, okay? You do this, and then you just get teleported. Okay? Oh, we got interrupted. Oh, crap! We got interrupted by something big! Where? I can't actually see it. Ooh, an ogre! Team, calm is the way for tanks. Do it, do it, do it again. Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> no, we got a hold of Annie Fuchsia. Stop. He's taking her away. Oh shit. There's a griffin. Okay, listen. Well, so much for the ox cart. Let's go, boys. Woo. Hold on. Uh. Engage, boys, engage! Why is my cursor on screen? I don't know why there's a cursor on screen. My apologies. Let me actually just do something like... This is pissing me off, and I know this is pissing a lot of people off. There. No more cursor on screen. Oh, God! Okay, actually, we need to get rid of this, um, this ogre. Oh, you bastard! Oh, 
Oh, Paradise is dead. And so is Anfusia. All right. Okay, we gotta get rid of the ogre. like the griffin ditched. I do have Tusk Toss. I forgot about that. God damn it! Struggling to get up there. Right, bitch! Got him with the Tusk Toss! Okay, where's my pawn? Pawn, help me! Where's he at? Let's go, buddy! Get me- set me up, set me up! Come on! Come on, do it, the setup! No, he's not doing it. Oh no! Paradise got drop kicked. God damn it! Chap! Let's rest paradise. Okay, let's go get him. We must make the most of this opportunity. Let's go! Oh no, he's leaving! I am not accustomed Where are you going? You bastard! Get him in the head! Yeah, right there. Damn it, I got ran out of stamina. When in That's right, bitch. Who the hell just died? 
Good lord, how did Paradise die over here? Paradise? <laughs> what happened? Come on, buddy. Help me out here, Rurikon. Come on. The toss. The toss. Got his ass. Ass, what's up? Drop kicked? Yeah, probably. He got drop kicked into oblivion. Like, I was just trying to have a snack, and friggin' ogres show up, and then a griffin. Could you come over here? Oh, man. Well, no sense in going to waste. Oh, rotten? Oh, well. Better than nothing. There, master. Historians. Bro, Paradise is dead again! Poor Paradise. Not having a good time. Stop dying! To be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. Well, no more ox cart for us. Useful ingredients up there. Can we actually climb? Hey, oi, Urkan. Throw me up Letter there. Has reached its recipient. Shall we inform Sir Donovan? Master? No. You. Ah, yes. I know just where to oh, I can just... I can just go over here. I wanted him to throw me up there, but... Now we shan't lose our oh. Gabos. Ooh, treasure chest. Bonk. Ow! Hey, that's dangerous. I you Come here, goblin. Wait, are you still alive down there? Wait, let me, uh... I know that he's dead, but, like, imagine if you lived, and then I would just do this. Has been drenched. Bro, what are you guys fighting down there? All done? Okay, let's go get that treasure. Treasure. What's up with these bones? Oh, are these traps? Not traps, but like uh, the things that make noise when Master, you come close, I'm not maybe? Sure how much longer I can keep going without rest. Ah, oh, jeez. hope we don't encounter any foes. All right. See, we're getting closer to the city, and you can tell that the frame rate is going to crap. The closer we get to the city, the worse it's going to get. These vittles would make for a fine repast. You ought to exercise more restraint. Same clunky combat from one. You know, I don't even know what to tell you about that. Combat is completely different from one, while still remaining true to the core foundations. It's 
See, this is when you can really see where the where the frame rate issues are, right? Right here before town. Stuff's going real wonky. Ow! Oh, bastards. Bro! They need to stop this. Annie! Heels! No! Wake up! Wake up, Annie! I need heels! Oh, I actually hit it. Nice. Problem solved. Okay, boys. Let's go. Not break it from this side. Really now. Surprised I haven't found any um, seekers tokens. Pretty sure I'd found like two or three by the time I was at this point in my main save. See that that's the thing, right? People always talking about how like streaming this and streaming that and streamers are usually bad at video games. That would be the perfect comparison. I've heard some interesting because my attention now. is so divided. Jesus, can you guys shut up for a second? Indeed. Tell us there's been a shift in the chain of command. I'm sorry. I I'm trying to stream. When a curative is needed. The master. fuck do you get You'll the fuck away from me? I'm trying to stream over here. You motherfuckers need to shut up. Anyways, I was saying. So um, people are always thinking like, oh, streamers are bad at video games, all of this. But because my attention is so divided, I haven't found a single Seeker's token. When I was playing by myself, not even recording, just testing out some stuff, I found like at least five of them by the point I reached this part of the story. Just to give you guys an idea on the difference that it is to play by yourself or play while streaming. Oh, you're supposed to go from underground to go inside here. Is this game more CPU heavy or GPU heavy? Both. The answer to your question is yes. But I think that the problem with the frame rate, people keep saying it's more about the CPU. You have a Ryzen 7? I have a 9. Nice. Take the food right from your table. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. I didn't play Hogwarts Legacy. Good. We're here. That's it. I've had enough. Clear off. And don't come back till you're ready to do business properly. That guy's not happy. But I've got the coin. I swear it. I simply just... Where is it then, eh? Bring the coin. All of it. Or I'll call the sentinels on you again. Are we clear? 
Are we clear? Daniel Radcliffe, so once again, you? getting denied. Oh, tis you. You're the good sir who aided me in Melv. It is me. How are you doing? Thank you again, sir. You don't know how grateful I am to you. You're quite welcome. Have we met the False Arisen yet? Nope. <clears throat> Helldivers 2 or Dragon's Dogma? Both. Both amazing. Well met, sir. Forgive my presumption, but were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in Melv? Yes. I thought so. <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks for aiding her. Oh, you're quite welcome. That girl's always running off on some fool's errand or other. For all my chiding. Once she gets an idea under her bonnet, there's simply no talking her out of it. Workon, in your opinion, is the one safe system to restrictive? I'm just afraid of one wrong decision and a quest will get ruined. So here's what you have to do about that. If you're scared and you want to like go back on some of the decisions that you've done, you need to rest that ins frequently because the way that the safe system works is it's got the auto save and then it's got the in save and you can always revert back to your in save. So in saves are your safest saves. The problem is naturally you have to rest at an in in order to get yourself an in save, but yeah, you can go back. But imagine, for instance, you've been playing for like two, three hours and you're like, oh crap, I made the wrong decision. You can go back on it if you've recently done an in, if you've done an in save, but you might lose those two or three hours of adventuring. It is what it is. And I understand that a lot of people like to like save 50 times and do all of these things. And I understand why you want to do that. Personally, don't bother me that much because I'm the type of guy that's like, oh, I made a mistake. Too fucking bad. That's our playthrough. That's what happens. You know, the way that I've played Baldur's Gate, for instance, you guys saw that. I pretty much accepted all of the consequences that happened to me. It is what it is. But for people that like constantly reloading, yeah, it's going to be a problem. I'll tell you what. There's an even bigger problem that I only became aware after I did my review. So I didn't get to even include that one on my review. There's a bigger problem that you can't start a fresh save easily. That was the one that I was like, wait, what? Because I had been playing and my plan was like, when the game comes out, I'll just start a fresh save, create the official pawn, do all of those things. And then when I had to do it, there was actually nothing in the menu to make new game. And I was like, wait, what? So I had to go find the save files in the middle of like Steam's file structure, which by the way, is a fucking mess. It's like every game just decides, oh, I'm gonna put my save files over here and I'm gonna put my save files over there. And I was like, bro, what the fuck is going on? Can we have some standardization with this? But yeah, that was, that was actually an issue that I had because I had to delete my save manually. And then I lost like all of my uh, main arisen and pawn data and I had to remake them from scratch. Lost like two hours remaking them. Yeah, that part is annoying. If you want to start a fresh save, it's a little bit annoying. It's probably easier on PlayStation because they, they have the, the stuff just saved on the save file data. And you can just delete it, but yeah. But I hope that they add a new game option because it makes sense. What if I just want to play the game from scratch? It seems like it was there was a big, like, uh, somebody somebody forgot the thing about that. <laughs> but yeah. Is there hard mode? No. There's only one set difficulty. Rui, did you go through a romance? No. Now listen, it isn't much, but I'd fain offer you a discount on my wares. Pray. Make good use of it, won't you? Thank you. You're too kind, sir. Now, you. Oh, tis you. You're a welcome sight. How you doing, Daniel Radcliffe? Forgive my boldness, but I've a small favor to ask of you. Sure thing, Harry Potter. Would you be willing to lend me some gold? I swear you'll be repaid in full. What'd you need it for? A trinket in yon shop caught my eye. A small, ornate box of exceptional craftsmanship. Alas, it would seem I do not have the coin on hand to purchase it. I can certainly procure the gold later, but by then, the box might be gone. If you'd be kind enough to lend me the amount I need, I would repay every last coin. 
I don't know if I trust you, Daniel Radcliffe. I didn't like your movies. This is for you. What do you think? Oh, thank you, Flora. Chirurgeon's Tome. Nice. Oh, crap. I wanted to see the, the tutorial for that, actually. So their skills can only be acquired by pawns. They're not strictly beneficial, for they allow the pawn to act independently, and this can result in unexpected consequence. However, with a little patience, planning, and due care, specialization is going to prove very useful and are well worth trying out. If you'd like your pawn to learn a specialization, you would do well to befriend people with various traits and tendencies in the world around you. Sooner or later, these friendships are bound to create opportunities for your pawn to acquire a specialization. Pawn can only acquire one specialization at a time, and learning new specialization will replace the old one. Consult each specialization entry uh, for more information about its effects. I mean, I, I know which specialization I want my pawn to be. It's not Chirurgeon, but since he doesn't have anything right now, why not? Do I just use it? Okay. Wait, can you set the specialization? Or does he just have it now? Oh, this is paradise. Oh, he just has it. Okay. There. Go heal people. My pawn can now also heal. Really now. You mustn't shirk your duty. Lest you forget, tis the arisen we serve here. I'm well aware of that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Paradise sits down and Ifusha goes like, Hey, stop slacking off. <laughs> dude, I love it. <laughs> I fucking love it, dude. <laughs> you see, you see any Fusha don't slack off. <laughs> Do your job. It was not a merchant. It was any Fusha. <laughs> Welcome and well met. Oh, Don't think I've forgotten your discount now. I'll okay, I'm gonna buy the ornate box for Daniel Radcliffe over there. Lock a few gold pieces. Who come again? Here you go, buddy. Yes. Is there aught I can do for you, or could it be that you've reconsidered my request? What do you need it for? A trinket in yon shop, court oh, it's the money. It would seem, I don't know, I can certainly... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes? Is I, thought he, I, I thought I was going to ask him about the or box. could it be that you've reconsidered my... You, you bought it for me. Yep. Thank you. I'll treasure this. He wanted 1,000 gold and the box was 800. No, Tony Barris, the box was 1,000. But because I did a quest previously where I helped out the merchant's daughter, he gives me a 20% discount in all of his wares. That's why I bought it instead of giving him the gold, because I can buy it for cheaper. You're a kind soul. Min-maxing for Let 200 gold! <laughs> he seems a young man of decent character. I believe his promise to repay your kindness was a genuine one. Bye, Daniel Radcliffe. You have a good day. Paradise just sitting down. Why is Paradise a giant? Like, look at him. He's almost as big as me when he's sitting down. <laughs> it's a fucking giant, dude. Look at him. <laughs> Welcome and well met. Don't the safer the roads, the heavier the safer the roads, okay. the heavier my pockets. Always a pleasure. Thanks, kid. Let's go. We also get the Chirurgeon for doing her quest. That's nice. Damn, this yeah, guy. We ought to put it to good use. What ladder? Oh, I think I've already been there. Ah, this was the dude that was shown in the example. What's this? From tents to blankets, chairs to cooking pots, or camping kits have aught you need for trips and far. You'll not want to go anywhere well, without one. Look while you're here, eh? Need anything? I enjoy this work. Keeps me on my toes. 
times change, but there's always coin to be made. I enjoy this work. Okay. Keeps me on my toe. Ooh, he sells fairy stones. I'm going to take this, because I don't like the, the default one. Bows. And I'm going to sell this. There. Many thanks. They do say gold is made to be spent. I hope our coin purse is too much lighter. <laughs> I distract him while my pawn just goes back there and steals from him. <laughs> yep. Good job, buddy. Good job. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, master. Shall Ooh. we report our results? I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by which is the time of day when cities and... Okay. It's nighttime. Uh, we're going to need to rest. What level are we at this point? 11? Oh, we can keep these two pawns for now. Not to mention that Paradise is an incredibly source of <laughs> incredible source of entertainment. <laughs> Greetings. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. Okay, let's talk about uh, some more skills. Uh, we have to sit with this one for at least two more ranks. What are we getting? We're getting Shield Pummel. We're getting Gouging Skewer, right? Yep, Gouging Skewer. Put that sucker right on in there, and... I think I'll do Airward Slash. Uh, let's actually get some more Augments, shall we? Although we don't need this one, because we want him to be our tank. Now, what do I want for you? So we're going to have Springboard and shield, sum shield Summons. I guess we'll do Shield Pummel. And then we can either get Gouging Skewer... <clears throat> Yeah, I think we get Gouging Skewer. Gouging Skewer will come here. Shield Summons goes here. Shield Pummel goes here. Oh, no, I should have gotten friggin... Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, we still have an unlocked warrior, which is going to be the next thing that Rurikon's going to become, so... And me, I'm going to be a sorcerer. A sorcerer! If there is aught I may assist you with, do come again! Do come again! I will. What's this? Heard some people in the tavern talking about a shop over in the rest town. Scrap store, they call it. Doesn't sound like much, but apparently you can have forgeries made there. The rest town? What do you mean, the rest town? Uh, Vernworth, Border Watch, Melv. I don't know where the rest town is. We'll have to figure that out later. But okay, so the forgeries are not here then, I guess? I never did find the forgeries thing. And don't spoil it for me! Apologies, Master, but I can't guide you there from our current location. Work on how do you pick your main class? You create your character, you choose your vocation, that is your main class. Then you can swap it whenever you want. Yeah, if you please. Okay, let's look at quests. Oh, we're supposed to... Okay. Oh, crap! I haven't reported back to Donovan yet? <laughs> Completely forgot about that. It's a good thing it's not time-sensitive. Well, yeah, it's only natural that I forgot about it. We, we got tried, assaulted on the way to town. That's ah, you've returned. How did you fare on the journey to Melv? I delivered the letter. Splendid! You've been an immense help, I must say. 
The cart reached its destination safe and sound, and from the tell of it, you even rid the road of a few monsters. <laughs> You've certainly earned a reward, my friend. Here you are. Ox carts seem a convenient choice. Miner's hosen. I see no harm in making use of them as needed, master. Are these better than mine? Yes. Okay. What about better than his? Worker's Greaves, 169. Ah. E -e -e. Can't combine it yet. One of these is about to go sour. I need to start depositing some of this stuff because there's too much of it. Discard that. Use this. <clears throat> okay, time to start depositing more things. Can I combine this? No. Discard it then. This one's about to go rotten. I think I can then combine these two for more lantern oil. We have four lantern oils. We really only need two of them. So I'll probably Indeed, you are correct. deposit two of those. We've a few options where to go, but I'd say our best bet is to start with the location nearest us. The soldiers delivering freight were last espied near Vermin's eastern edge. Uh, that's not far from here. A guide is most welcome. Oh, right. Now we shan't lose our way. You don't need that. The best part about this, I go in the back here, I steal his stuff, and then I'm going to ask him to keep it for me in storage. Well, man, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated. Listen, buddy, I'm going to need you to store this thing that I just stole from you. Okay? Put that in my stuff. Uh, oh, we have another cloak. Same exact values, different debilitations. I like the other one better, so we'll store this one. Wait, what the hell just happened? Oh, I stored this stuff that I had selected, right? So, let's store these. This. This goes to my other character. I want to deposit two of these because we don't need it right now. Is the rubber end heavy? No, it's not too heavy. These are fine. Store that. That. Okay. You need to give these materials to me. Dude, Annie Fuchsia is a loot fiend. Look at her go. What the hell? Damn. What have you been doing, Annie? Excellent. To the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. Any rotten stuff that we can use real quick? No. Okay, I don't want to touch any of this. Let's we'll keep what we have, and I just need to move. You know where to find the camping gear. D. Luffy, thank you very much for being gross and incandescent. As a long beard, you giga chad. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Where kind are they planning on any last optimizations? Where is there a day one patch for it? Uh, this the game hasn't been patched yet. I don't think so. They are they they said as much that they're working on like optimizations and stuff. So I'd expect some improvements, but I don't know when those are coming yet. Um. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I wanted to give this to you. And you can be the one with average weight. 
I know. It sucks. It's okay. We'll level up and it'll be better. So now we're going to well, go ahead. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality. We must rest, though the sun is still up. Our lumps. How much are the fairy stones? They are t um, 10,000 gold. There's no boast to say I acquitted myself admirably in combat. With that, I had better aid the Arisen in times of crisis. My duty is my pride. Glad to have served the Arisen's will. Gave me a miner's shirt. I'll be Rayo. I don't want this miner's shirt. I didn't ask for this. I'll be Rayo. Let's take a look at... Uh, no, not that. Oh, it's super rad. This is Super Rad's character. Damn, he's already got like a good sword and stuff. Look at him go. <clears throat> he's a level three fighter. You get him. You get him, Super Rad. Twas a certain source. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. I wonder if this means that if his uh, if his official pawn is leveled. Just out of curiosity. Damn, servers are gonna start exploding as the game releases in more locations. Oh yeah, he's level nine. Whoa, is this on PC? Yes. Yes, it is. Now, do I need to do anything else in town? Or can I just, like, head out? I think I can head out. We're going to start by doing vocation frustration. Ladder is here for a reason. May half wheels to pay a visit to... We meet again. Truth be told, I was hoping we might. Here's Daniel Radcliffe. Would you care to stay and talk a moment? Sure. I'm glad. Sit down, won't you? I'm rather fond of this place. I never imagined a city could be like this. So full of excitement, so alive. And how could I have? In all my life, I've hardly left the palace. My mother is quite strict. You understand. Oft did I long for a taste of normal life. Even aught as simple as going shopping for myself. My mother has always procured the things I covet for me, so to pick out an item and obtain it with my own hands held a certain appeal. Oh god, the C-11, E-11 inclusion is putting me off. I need you to understand, because this is something that I've been hearing a lot on social media. It is so incredibly optional... You don't need to engage in it at all. You don't even need to play the game online. Okay? It's super optional. The thing is, I'm purposefully seeking it out because I think it's fun. If you don't like it, you just recruit normal pawns. You never even see them. You have to go through two menus to see these pawns. You have to go into the thing and then go view unique pawns. And then after you hit view unique pawns, you have to hit view official pawns. And only then you get your e-celeb pawns. Like, relax. I've seen a lot of people be super negative about this, and it's like, it's actually very well done in a way that does not intrude into the game at all. Of course, in the end, you were the one who made the purchase. And by the way, you would have seen my pawn no matter what if you were looking for, like, a fighter, because I was going to make a fighter pawn even if it wasn't an official pawn. It would have still been there. And probably a lot of the people that have official pawns, their pawns would still be there, even if they're not official. They're just a part of, you know, the list of normal pawns. That's all right. I know you meant well. Besides, I can safely say it was still a novel experience. 
I wanted to give you something in return by way of thanks. Here, this is for you. My apologies, friend, but I'd best be going. I mustn't let Mother find out I left the palace. Thank you for indulging me. I, I do hope we'll see each other anon. Till then, farewell. Thanks for the Jasper, buddy. Drum making rules. This game makes me not want to work tomorrow. Tell me about it. Okay, let's get out of uh, bad frame rate town. Uh, which direction do I need to exit? Uh, I need to exit west, so we need to take the other exit. If you play offline, will pawns level up as you play it? They stay at the level you acquired offline. Travel by ox cart might be worth considering. So, everywhere is certainly tiring. the way that pawn leveling works, the pawns that you hire don't level up while they're in your party. So, the Paradise pawn we hired is level 8. The Anifuchia pawn we hired is level 8. They will not level up so long as they're in our party. But what happens is, when the creators update them by going to an inn, the pawns will then show up at the new level. So, for instance, when we started this stream, my pawn was level 2. So anybody who hired him between the beginning of the stream and, you know, at the very beginning, he would have been level two. If anybody goes to hire him now, he'll be level 11. But he doesn't level up while he's in your party. You have to rehire him. It's the same thing with these other pawns. You have to rehire them at higher levels whenever the creator of the pawn rests at an inn. That's how it works. But the, pawn, the hired pawns do not level up until you update them. And in the case of Paradise's pawn, if I'm not mistaken, you can hire him at 8, and then at level 20, and then at level 30. Because it's a static pawn. This pawn is actually not linked to Paradise's account. You don't, you don't have to spend RC unless you're hiring a pawn that's higher level than you. If you're hiring pawns at the same level as you, you don't actually spend RC. It's not just Paradise's pawn that works like that. There are more pawns that work like that. Oh. 3,000 gold. Tis a glad thing we rested when we did. I grant your weapon a magical boon. Your risen has been put to sleep. No. Arisen, are you alright? Where are you guys? Come help me. Such a boring game, oh my god. Tell you what, buddy, come back tomorrow. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. Come back tomorrow where I will still be playing this game and then I can give you another 24 hour timeout tomorrow. To better ourselves with every battle. And then you can come back the next day, at which point I will ban you again for another 24 hours. Okay? But I, I, I hope that you come back every day saying the exact same thing. That would make me very happy. Dude, I caught her mid-air! I caught her ass mid-air, dude. Ooh, chest. I don't know why my pawns are so far behind. Rurikon, it's the gift that keeps on giving- What the hell?! What happened?! Bro, what the hell did they do? I need to go save them now. Ah! 
Paradise, buddy! No, actually, wait. Paradise, I got an idea. Really? Goblins are relentless right now. And then the harpies keep putting me to sleep. Shut up. Are you kidding me? Get away! There it is. What an amazing start to our experience here. Alright. Get him. We're gonna loot this place clean. Ah, that was good. Harpies, dude. They're dangerous. Dumb gobble. Alright. That was a very dangerous situation, and the loot was very much not worth it. The hell is going on Come up here, by the way? Oh, there's actually a chest there. Yoink! Hey yo! One wakestone shard is a mere rock. But combined, they can work miracles. We ought to keep it with care, lest we lose it. Oopsie. We lost a lot of max health though, which kind of sucks. Having trouble keeping up, but no matter. I shall wait for you. So let's see. We need to take this road down here. Or we can take the big road up here. And then go down. Yeah, let's actually take the main road. Why not? I love how there's just locked chests in the middle of nowhere. Oh, we need to actually go down for the road. What the hell? I've never seen a cart like that. What's going on here? Oh, wow. This is a really fancy ox cart. Where is this going, by the way? I'm not taking any passengers. Oh, okay, fine. I was just curious because you have a really fancy ox cart. Oh, 
I'll come at you and feed you your entrails. You trying to make me lose my nerve? God damn it, Paradise. It's always Paradise, isn't it? Now they're Saurians. Yeah, those Saurians are not my problem, right? There was a camp here. Okay. Dunzo. Alright. On the road again. Oh crap, a griffin? This would be a really bad time to get attacked by a My griffin. Word. This ox cart has been destroyed. The work of goblins, mayhap? Careful now. They busted up the ox cart, it seems. That's what he gets for telling me he's not taking any people in his cart. What's your obsession with creating bearded dwarfs every game? I like dwarfs. There's not enough games with dwarfs. Dragon's Dogma is one of the few games that lets you create a proper dwarf. I love that ability. gonna have to camp up before we get to the mine. Hope there's another campsite besides this one. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? This is PC gameplay. Oh, there's a house up there. Live to regret this. 
the reach on that ability is a little bit shorter than I'd like. There it is. Just one more and we can swap classes. I'm going to miss being a fighter, though. Fighter's so much fun. Hey! We can move this boulder if we work together. Money! I doubt anyone will believe me, yet I'm compelled to write this account of what I saw. Gigantus walked the earth. How else to describe it? Its every step shook the ground. Its distant crown parted the clouds. I know not whence it came. Only that some terrible power must have stirred it to life. Be it of God or dragon or aught beyond imagining. Boulder? What are you guys talking about? Boulder. Boulder's Gate? Got him. There were stairs here, yeah. Let's go up. Hey, more things. Bunch of flowers. Follow me. Oh, there's a campsite here. Nice. This is most convenient. Another destination we were bound for is not far from here. We shall have to decide which is the most pressing. We cannot do everything at once. How far away are we? We're still pretty far. There should be another camp before we get there. Oh, hello. And paradise is dead. Calling request over here. Where are the monsters? I think I'd be caught unawares. Oh, we completed it. Yon statue makes for a fine. I owe you a great debt. Oh. Tis but a trifle, but I pray you will accept it. All right. Go on, loot that place up. I'm gonna go loot it over here. Apple. Only fools and urchins boast of their coins. Dude yeah. looked like a zombie. What? What do you want? Where are we going, Paradise? a bunch of food here a common reward frustratingly so we cannot okay we need to give some items I have too many things right keep forgetting you have to do it manually uh, I'm gonna give it to Annie because paradise might die Paradise might die an unrecoverable death. Which is why we need to give our items to Annie. I'm gonna... When I... When I... Uh, separate from Annie's thing, I'm gonna send her some flowers. <laughs> okay, this ice spoon. Gleaming treasures round every corner. Paradise, where are you taking us, bro? 
Our party is well balanced. I can see no weaknesses that might be exploited. Our road was a long one, but here we are at last. Oh, we've reached the mine. This is a different entrance. First time I entered was not through here. Okay. Shall we proceed into the depths? We'd best be prepared to make our own light before we proceed. By your leave. Bro, this is a tricky spot you put us in, Paradise. It's not easy to navigate this this place. Boy, you there. Oh, but we instantly got to the quest spot. Nice. Paradise did good. No, Annie. Splendid. Where's the the dude that confirms our quest? I thought that was a dude that would thank us. Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find. Look, master, goblins. You've a strong arm. Oh, there it is. The goblins are well routed. You have my thanks. It was a simple patrol mission. Till we walk, I don't okay. know where we'd be if you hadn't come along. Okay. Use these flames to smite our enemies. Right. Damn, a fairy stone? Bro, we eating good today. We eating good. Which way did we come in from? It wasn't through here, was it? are too close for comfort here. Should we encounter trouble, we would be at a disadvantage. Let us proceed with caution. Eyes peeled, ears pricked. No, this is another exit, I think. Oh, nice. I'm gonna go ahead and use this rift stone. Rip. So we get a special pawn instead. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. Jackal. No thanks. Actually, I'm curious I'm about something. Gathering items and a Altair. That's a nice haircut. Ever on. When's a good time to let your main pawn go join other adventurers for experience info on quests and stuff? There's never a good time. He's just always doing it, regardless. Unless you go offline mode or something. It's an automatic system. You don't have to actively engage in it. The only active thing you have to do is make sure that you keep your pawn uh, well equipped with good skills. And everything else sorts itself out. I'm still like... Okay, this is the way we came from, right? We came from up there. Oh, okay, I get it now. Okay, so we need to go down. Because I want to get to the bottom of this place. God damn it, Paradise, not quite that fast!
don't know if I'm gonna make it in time. God damn it. Annie. I got you. There it is. Well, that certainly speed us along our way. The problem is that I left God knows how many chests back there. Somebody Just mind yonder. that. Looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. I guess nobody wants to mind this. I'll do it myself. I'm probably going to burn a fairy stone to exit here. Because we're going to be so loaded by the time we're out of here. Goblins master! Killed him. There's no difficulty options. I grant you roaring flame. Prison has been drenched. Master. Find my magic with yours, that you might cast the spell more quickly. Okay, this is the very bottom. What compares to the thrill of victory, one cannot help but feel indomitable. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. A little bit lost now. be prepared for what awaits. The road here was a long one. We are already here. Let us delve as far as we are able. Okay, that's the weapon for the warrior. Let me give that to Rurikon for now. Sorry, brother. You're gonna have to be a little bit heavier. We're both on average. Travel is not slow. Let's explore this side first. It's a pretty big cave. Oh, 
This calls for a curative. I grant your weapon a magical boon. Oh, I thought we were healing. It shall be done. I am we are very low on health, but this is mostly just goblins, so it's not too bad. Oh, this is the normal exit. The teammates are NPCs. Ooh. Or. We're just exploring the different sections of this mine through the map. This is dead again. should be able to move this boulder with our combined might. I say okay. we give it a push and see what happens. Bad things happen, that's what. Because we already killed everything, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything else left here. So we go through this portion. Every little thing you find, and your pack will soon outweigh you. Well, I know it, yet I cannot seem to resist. Why do they come from that side? Gouging Skewer is actually really good. Oh, it's on the other side. Big goblin. Hey, buddy. Ah! 
That was pretty vicious. Ring of cooling. If we mastered that attack, we would be invincible. Okay. I don't know what's the max level in the game. I don't really plan on reaching max level. Hey, we've done almost the full thing, because we're still missing one of the weapons that's supposedly here somewhere. Did I go down this way yet? No. And there it is. This should be the arch staff. Shall we report back now? Yep. We found an arcade staff and great sword both. What say we bring them to Sir Klaus? Let's do that. I know where that person can be found, Master. This way. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. I think we've cleaned this place up. Be on your guard. There are innumerable corners where an enemy might conceal themselves here. We must be ready for anything. Rhea, I watched someone else play this particular quest. No, oh my God, they were so bad. You got in like two minutes. I mean, Dragon's Dogma has a bit of an adaptation period. So the thing is, I've also been playing the game for a bit. So maybe I look a little bit more adept than someone who just starts playing it right now. But it's fine. Somebody new trying the game, that's a good thing. This was the exit, if I remember correctly. This is a detail that I really like. When you kill goblins and you move away, and then you come back, there's like flies and stuff all over their corpses. So there's an actual immersive sense of decay to things. Eventually their corpses will disappear, but they don't just disappear, right? They stay in there for a bit. Okay, we're at Trevo Mine. I believe that the other town is not too far off from where we are. So we should actually do this. Right? Oof. That's actually really far away. Well, let's find ourselves a camp. Where are we off to next? I shall guide us to our nearest destination. We were to make for Harv Village, as I recall. It is not far from here. Hey, a chest. Why not upgrade the weapon for your pawn? I'm not in any rush. Does it seem like we're struggling? Right. Just follow me. And another chest. Is this the road? No, we have to go the other way. Yeah, we have to go this way. What's photo mode like? It's okay. 
One of the things that I don't like is that it's locked to your character. Uh, at least as far as I can tell. I don't think there's a way for you to not be locked onto your character. But other than that, it's got all the things that you want. You got some zoom, inclination, depth of field stuff, additional brightness, a bunch of things. It's all right. I just wish that I could Henry, uncouple from my character. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. A profitable endeavor. Red Sand 28, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat, appreciate support, thank you. Recently discovered you were a con, love your content, the vibe you bring to them. Well, thank you, I appreciate that. Looking forward to all the videos on this game. Aw, oh, dude. Follow me. This is gonna be awesome. There's a camp over here. Scouting out for enemies. Don't see any enemies. Should be safe to camp out for the night. Oh man, all of my stuff is rotten. <laughs> all the preparation in the world can't ready us for every eventuality, you know. Wait a second. Ort. Can I only cook the stuff that's in my thing? Oh, I can't even touch items. Can always go wrong. Every stumble or misstep can prove a valuable lesson. Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. I quite agree. At best we recuperate our strength before we set off again. Is the camp, camp kit used? No, you can reuse it. But I've been told it can be destroyed. Like if you get attacked in the middle of the night, uh, there's a chance that it gets destroyed in the middle of the scuffle, I think. What is this cave? Oh, there's a rift stone in there. Oh, a seeker's token. Ah, now here's a surprise. At least all our efforts weren't for naught. Huh. I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. Hells yeah. Okay, let's go back and cross the bridge. See, the thing that I really like about this game is the level of immersion that you get, right? Because we're basically on an adventure, we found this camp, we made camp, and we're just walking through the world. You see, this, this is one of the reasons why I always tell people, and a lot of people I feel just don't get it when I say this, but I always say, you have no idea how much we've lost in MMORPGs with the introduction of flying mounts. You have no idea. And in a lot of ways, it's the same thing with fast travel in video games. When you have too much fast travel, you don't have this sense of adventure. I just, you know, you go up to the map and be like, okay, uh, just teleport me to the town over here and then teleport me to the place over here and let's go. And we continue the adventure. It's like... This, give, this gives you immersion and a sense of adventure. And I get it. It's not for everyone because a lot of people prefer the Ubisoft style of doing things, of teleporting everywhere. That's fine. I do it too in some games. But sometimes they're, having the experience of actually traveling the world is really good. But that's my opinion anyway.
the environment becomes a character. Exactly. Like, see, rather than just fast traveling everywhere, I'm constantly looking around and looking for things and, like, there's a chest over there. Although I actually don't know how I'm supposed to get there. What the hell? There's an ogre. Why is this pawn green? That's a player pawn, has to be. Kick. What the hell happened? He drop kicked himself off of a cliff. You idiot. Look at you. Look at you. You dumbass. Oh, the slime's gonna attack him. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Damn it. That slime's gonna kill people if we're not careful. Slimes are really dangerous. Did he get absorbed by the brine? That ogre got brined. Okay. Very useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. I was actually making sure my TV wasn't turned off because it was saying, Oh, I'm gonna turn off to save power. Okay, let's take a look at the map here. Uh, we do not want to be going down this way. Because this is a dead end. So, we need to get back to the main road. Wait, can we cross here? Or is it brine time? Could you come over here? No, it's brine time! There's no sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The uh -huh. Griffin gets the worm, as they say. What are we attacking? Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. I never got to understand what was up with the green pawn that was in here. Had to be a player pawn. There's runes on these rocks. Bandits. Good here? 
Ow! Well done, Master. Level 14. I seem to recall there being a treasure chest in this area when I explored it in other worlds. Frigger. Did your boys put any treasures up here or something? Now, what might that be? Let us ponder how best to proceed. Get it? Ponder? Haha. <laughs> I don't see any chest over there. What is that, a tower? Nay, a statue. We ought to take a closer look. Now, why is there a thing to climb up here when I can't really see anything up there? I'm hearing a strange noise. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. A ladder? Where? I don't see a ladder. Oh, I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? They said a ladder, but I don't see one. This whole place, it's got like two things, two points of interest from the pawns, but I can't really see what the hell is it. There's a basement. Did I miss it? Oh, here it is. So hungry. There's a zombie in there. There's a lot of treasure in there. You'll not live to regret this. Hells yeah! Money, 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 money! I am in awe of your powers of detection. Indeed. Good on you for being so observant. Alright, let's go. There's the village of Harv, which is one of our objectives. Oof, my pack's grown rather heavy. 
If you've anything edible, I'll gladly lessen your burden. Let's actually see what we can make here. Salubrious Draught. Salubrious Draught. Salubrious dra Draught. People are telling me you're supposed to say that as Draught. Salubrious Draught. Uh, oh, I can combine this one right now. Rip. Um, Rurikon's too far to transfer stuff over to. Because I wanted to give him some of these Salubrious Drafts. Yep, he's used all of his already. I figured he would have. Okay, team. To me. Let's go ahead and pop him some of those. Salubrious Drafts. Maybe I should give him some of these, actually. Yeah. Good lord, we're full of stuff. I don't know if there's an inn in, in this town. So we might not even get storage. Arv Village. Davis Price, after I get my six ranks in fighter, I'm gonna play a sorcerer. I actually don't want to play Sorcerer, but they have one of the best magic damage augments, so I want to get that out of the way as fast as possible. A fitting reward for a rigorous search. Withered Branches. What does this guy have? Or girl? Might I interest you in my humble wit? Fairy stones. Yes. Much obliged, sir. Let me get that. Oh, I thought that was just here. Oh, damn. These are some tough boxes. So I guess no win. Right, just follow me. What's going on over here? Because this is supposedly a building of import. And three thousand gold just lying around? Nice. And here I thought I was leading the way. But I suppose your whims take precedence. The Bro. arisen decides our path. We have but to follow. This paradise pawn, bro. chest That's another wake stone. Yeah, if you please. What do you think of the game so far? We can infer much of the lay of the land. Game of the year. Perhaps we might take a moment to Okay, we have too much stuff. Uh Annie 
Sorry, Annie. You're going to need to carry some of this. We are quite loaded right now. We are quite loaded. Neighbor the scene. Indeed, you are correct. Really could do with a storage right about now. Worm's life's crystal. <gasps> Seeker's token. Could you come over here? All heal elixir. What does that do? Health and stamina in full. All right. It's two seekers token. Only two hundred and forty to go. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Worse. Every time I just look at the vistas, I'm always like, bro, this game looks so good. No, let me up there. More apples. Oops. All right. What is this place? Coastal hut. Can you rest here? And we're heavy. That's not good. Okay, I'm gonna have to give Paradise some things. This is dangerous. Damn, he's already heavy. That's fine. Maybe it'll maybe it'll slow him down. How does he only have 380 health? He's a sorcerer. I'm probably going to have really low health when I play a sorcerer. One never can have too many of these. What say we pelt one of the next foe we encounter? to a dangerous place. Scaly beasts make this their den. We've been dispatched to cull them. A small force ventured inside, 
Though I've seen neither hide nor hair of them since. Seems the battle is hard won. I'll not stop you if you wish to explore, but don't look for my aid if aught goes awry. Follow me. All right, here we go. We're unlikely to find any warm hearths down here. Narrow passages may await us. Stormwind Cave. God. Very well, if I must. Fine. There's a haze over my eyes. Can anyone hear me? We need help. I don't want to fall here. Oh, damn blizzard. Is this where I'm to draw my last? On sun. It is. These guys are all busted up. This is my first time clapping eyes on such a night. Okay. I expect my own master has yet to even discover it. There appears to be another path this way. Is there any way to climb up there? I'm not sure what we'll find, but it might be something useful. Get me up there. Bro. You can do it. Rurikon, come on, man! What are you doing? Look! Just yeet me up there! You ought to keep watch, lest we be set upon from behind. Pray, speak up, should you notice aught amiss. Oh man, I actually can't rely on him to use it. That sucks. I was hoping he'd use it. Then again, maybe he just knows that I can't get there this way. Anyway, Paradise appears to be confused because yeah. we have to go this way. Please. Shut up, Paradise. Uh, this obstacle shan't get the better of us. There must be a way to remove it. Sorry about that. Okay. This way.
Damn it. I don't want to do any of these. I thought Paradise was heavy. What the hell happened? Guess I might have been given stuff to work on by mistake. Everybody's at average. This is not looking good, boys. Oh, right. This probably leads me. Oh, hello. Where's the dude that we came to save? You're not one of ours. Have you come to save us? Yes. Me. I cannot seem to walk of my own accord just now. Would you aid me in reaching the entrance? Sure. Well done, then. I concur. Before we do that, though, I want to check out what's up down here. I assume there's no more paths this way. Heed your senses. If Ord feels out of place, it could very well be a trap. Pray speak up, should you notice aught amiss. So wait, there's another path if I go this way. Turn here. Oh, it just probably just goes around. Yeah, it goes around. And there's a another path up. Nice, just straight up money is always nice. There's two more paths up. Jesus. Ton of exploration to be done. But we can go further down, so let's check that out first. Do you know do you know how big it is in terms of size? It's like 60 gigs. I think might be a little bit more. Maybe just think about 70 just to be safe. But I think it was around 60. Is the dude following me? No. Stayed behind. Oh, but he's coming. Okay, we gotta take that dude back. He's a liability. He's gonna get himself killed. Hmm. 
This is not a demo you're playing, right? No, there is no demo. This also looks fairly dangerous. Chest. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. Feather light pelta. Jaspers. So destroying the eggs, there's actually a chance that you get something out of it. In this case, just fish. Some Saurian scales. Okay. Where's the dude? Dude. Where are you at? I think I need to carry him because he's like all crippled and stuff. Come here, slowpoke. Friggin' bridal carry. I can't pick up stuff while I'm carrying. No. Why are you doing this, Arisen? Sorry. Get his ass out of this mine. Just, just. We can travel wheresoever we please. Tis not an item to be squandered. Come here. Can't help you here, bud. Grass up here. Can't help you here either, it seems. Hurry it up, slowpoke! <clears throat> if you throw him, will it hurt him? Yes. You 
went in there to save my fellow soldiers. Well now, I underestimated you, friend. I shall send word of your deeds to the captain. You better do that. Done well this day. I thank you. We'll see to the rest of this mess. You need not trouble yourself further. You're quite welcome. Oh, you have my gratitude, friend. Were it not for your aid, I'd have died a dog's death. Okay, now that we did that, let's check out what's happening at the bottom. We're not done yet, Master. Our next destination awaits. I know. I shall guide us to our nearest destination. No, you won't. The soldiers delivering freight were last espied near Vermin's eastern edge. Uh, that's not far from here. Yeah, I can't seem to Where order him to, to do next? it. I'm pretty Where's sure you next? pretty sure I you would be able to the do it. The location nearest here would be a good place to start. The soldiers delivering freight were last espied near Vermin's eastern edge. Uh, that's not far from here. How did these guys respawn already? Or didn't, maybe we didn't come through here. By the skin of our teeth. Your skin, skin of our teeth, lesson. really? This is what befalls one who lets down their guard. Felt pretty easy. I think it's closed off. Hmm. How far are you into the game? Um, five hours and change, but we've mostly been playing super slow, so I'd say still fairly close to the beginning. Hey yo, what's this? The solitary shard is good for little. We need to seek out more of these, if tis to be of use. We must take care not to throw it away by mistake. And another one. Saurian scale cape. That's actually pretty nice.
Like I said, my pawn will always have the best gear. I think that this is probably locked at this point in the story. They're probably going to remove this obstruction later. Because this seems like it'll be a pretty... Well, actually, no. It's closed off. There's nothing there. So maybe it's just a big nothing burger. This is getting real rough. Real rough. That was really funny, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna miss fighters so much when I have to swap the sorcerer, dude. Like, that ability, gouging skewer, is goat. It is the goat. Can you mess around ignoring quests and just explore? Yep, we've been doing plenty of that. I mean, we have a quest, we have a general objective, but we usually just explore loads before we go through it. Oh, I guess there was a section here that I didn't, or did I explore it? No, I did explore it. It is overly narrow here, and ill-suited to combat. Let us conclude our business and be quit of this place. There is naught to be gained from lingering. There is loot storage. I just haven't uh I just haven't gotten around to doing that. What about that other cape by the way? He's too far. We'll swap that when they get up there. I'm playing PC with controller. Sir, I'd rethink pressing onward if I were you. The village is crawling with Saurians. Forgive me. I didn't mean to startle you. I used to call this place home, you see, in times more peaceful. Hmm. You're the Arisen, are you? Well, that's something. We were hoping to reclaim our village. But it doesn't seem we'll have much luck. We fled when the dragon attacked some days past, thinking we'd return once the baleful thing was gone. Easier said than done, clearly. In our absence, a bask of Saurians have made our homes their own. What are we to do? The guards not like to send soldiers all the way out here. Ah, but mayhap they needn't at all. You are the Arisen, I. Could we trouble you to aid us in our hour of need? Please, sir. Do something, anything about the Saurians infesting our village. Saurians abound, Master. Be on your guard. One cannot be too careful. Saurians! Ow.
Ought to be our next priority. Supposed to deliver the report over there at this guy called Furon, but before we do that. Oh, we can run at will here because we're inside a village. Right, there's a port crystal over there. Yes, yes, of course. We were speaking of places elsewhere. Mayhap tis beyond your ken. But this world of ours is not the real one. What? This world is a cycle. The dragon emerges, the dragon is slain, and just when we think we have found peace at last, the dragon appears once more. It is endless. Endless and tiresome, wouldn't you say? Yet, such is the lot of those who reside in a false world like ours. A false world? The real world is not nearly so stagnant. All manner of things occur there. It is a far more fearsome existence than ours, to be sure. Is there a way to travel to the real world, you ask? <laughs> Must I do all the thinking here? Ponder that yourself. What I will say is that I believe the cycle will continue unbroken for as long as the dragon continues to be slain. You doubt your ears, but I speak truly. I have beheld the real world with my own eyes. This dude's crazy. All people fear the Okay. Well, I'll take this. You don't need it, because you're crazy. Oh, a fairy stone. Nice. Why does the old man venture out to sea day after day? What does he seek to prove? Curious, isn't it? Mayhap his maundering will make more sense to us in time. There's a bench over there. I wonder if we can sit there and wait and we'll actually see him go out to sea. That could be interesting. Is the deed done, good arisen? Oh, thank you. Thank you. We shall all be able to return to our homes at last. I can hardly wait to bring these tidings to the other villagers. I dare say we'll have this place livable again ere long. I cannot thank you enough. Long will you be known as a friend to our village. If you happen to pass by, do come visit us, won't you? I should like for you to see this place as twas afore the dragon's attack. For your sake, as well as ours, We'll do our utmost to see the village restored. A fine job by our merry band. What say we visit again, anon, to see how the village fares in the aftermath? True enough. Well, looks like they don't have a... They don't have an inn. Now, do they have an ox cart, though? No, there's no inn. And there's no ox cart. Ugh. Wait, there's still stuff to do here? What is this? Oh, it's the return to invade- to return after a while. Okay. We need to get this to the other dude. We found an arcade staff and great sword both. What say we bring them to Sir Klaus? Ah, yes, I know just where to find this person. 
Follow me. So we have to walk all the way to the other city? Seems like a terrible idea. Uh, there is a road that appears to be more direct. Though I'm not sure this will actually lead there. I could try it, but we're super heavy right now. I might just fairy stone. I think I'm gonna fairy stone this is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. But before we do that, I need to take another bio break. I'll be right back. This food's gone rotten. I'd best dispose of it and free up some space in my pack. I'm back. I'm gonna stand up for a little bit so that I don't get a friggin' blood clot or something. Oops. So I'm gonna take the face cam away for a little bit while I'm standing up. Oh, my water! It fell! Yes, I'm playing on PC. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so let's see. The plan is to fairy stone. I was thinking if I would want to waste fairy Could stones this here? early. The thing is... With our weight, it might take us too long. But I also kind of want to just like go through this road on this side. How is our weight right now? Rurikon is heavy. Everybody else is average. Oh, we can get quite a few exquisite robberants.
And some miracle robberance too, apparently. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Okay. How's the game so far in PC FPS wise? It's pretty good in most places, except certain towns. Let's see if we can make the trek. Furthermore, off to is that a statue I espy? It will be a joy to serve one so. It seems we already possess what's required of us. What settings in spec are you on? I'm on a Ryzen 9. Um, what's the? I think it's Ryzen 9 5900 and a 6900 XT. Right, just follow me. Where does this go? Okay, this is a different path. We don't want to go that way. Wait. Oh, crap. I thought we were going this way. Oh, well. Might as well keep going this way for now. Follow me, Arisen. Seriously? I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Where is he? Oh, I think he's up here. I think I'm gonna do something stupid. Yep, we're gonna do something stupid. seriously not doing any damage at all okay we're gonna need to upgrade our gear okay this ain't gonna work guys we gotta run oh crap I'm stuck here Hurry up, I don't want to lose this bridge! Dealing no damage, dude. We were dealing no damage. This should be of use. Bro, hit her! What the hell? Thank you. Come on, 
confidence and cooperation gave us an edge against our foe. The tide of battle was in our favor. What's going on here? It's like a little Saurian thing up in there. Let's grab this treasure. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. Jasper. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Yeah, a warrior can mess up the griffin because you'll stagger it. And with the fighter, it's not as easy to stagger stuff. Sorcerers three to five hours into the game and Mystic Spearhands about 30 to 40 hours into the game? Completely wrong. You can get the Sorcerer faster and you can get the Mystic Spearhand way faster. Like, I actually could go get the Mystic Spearhand right now if I wanted to. How do you like the game so far? Absolutely love it. Most likely it'll be my game of the year. The way some people were lied to. True, dude. True. Away are we from town? Oh, we're reasonably close. Should be able to make it there just fine. Uh, Raphael SL, I'm standing up so that I don't get like a friggin' blood clot from sitting down for too long. Once I sit back down, I'll turn the camera back on. Also, I have to apologize to you guys if it feels like I'm not speaking as much. Over the last couple of days, I've been having a massive toothache. It hurts so much. You guys have no idea. <laughs> I maybe get a better gaming chair. Human beings are not made... We're not made to be sitting down for so long. It's not about the chair. You're supposed to stand up. I'm gonna die if I don't recover my goddamn stamina! Oof. This is really bad. Master, watch out. I 
Damn it. Damn it, this goblin! God. Oh! Oh, I'm so close to dying. My God, this is really bad. Ooh, my stamina. God damn it. You're gonna go down, you prick bastard! Alleluia! Somebody friggin' push him! Thank you! Okay, it's time to die. Prowler King, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent as a long beard. You giga chad, tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you.
You can break the tusks. You can totally break the tusks. We were just struggling because my uh -oh. damage is become, beginning to suffer. I'm probably gonna upgrade my weapons when we get to, to we get the city. About what to do with it. Let's take a look. We're really close now, that, though. Just one more bridge. We're golden. God damn it. Really? The prison has been drenched. Let my magic strike be an elemental boom. Bro, these gobos don't quit. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. What are your thoughts on the AI upgrades in combat so far? Pretty good. Way better than the first game. You know, they're, they're not going to be perfect players, though. They're still going to, we might scratch you know, task off have this problems. Here, if but so inclined. usually they're doing pretty good. Not the only factor worthy of consideration. Uh, I assume you haven't forgotten the delivery we were to make here, Arisen? We ought to make the delivery now, lest it should end up lost or misplaced. I suppose tis so. Tell it, then that's why they've been holding all these fancy masquerades, see? They're supposed to lift his spirits or some such. Got to wonder what comfort ale and dancing are to a man who's been charred to a crisp. But I suppose I'm just jealous. Imagine having naught better to do than drink and revel the night away. That would be nice. <laughs> Come to think of it, we've already found what's needed here. It should be in one of our packs. Oh, Sven's here. Nice. Let's go talk to him. Hi. Faring well, I hope. Our best friend, Daniel Ratcliffe. Would you care to join me? I'd not say no to a bit of company. I was hoping you'd say that. Do you know, I had a feeling we'd meet here today. Intuition, I suppose. How about random encounters or all encounters scripted like the ogre you just fought be there when you do a playover? No, the encounters are actually all random and unscripted. I'm not joking. It's... Say, you're not from round here, are you? Are you a traveler? Have you seen many places? How I envy you. This city is all I know. I long to learn more of the outside world, but... Mother won't allow it. She's always telling me how dangerous it is beyond the palace walls. But that only makes me question her judgment all the more. After all, if the world truly is so perilous, what of the lives of our people? They must be fraught with uncertainty, subject to harsh conditions. It seems unfair that I alone should be shielded from that reality. But listen to me waffling on. Ah, I almost forgot. I, I happened upon this little curio the other day. Here, you're welcome to it if you'd like. My apologies, friend, but I'd best be going. I mustn't let Mother find out I left the palace. Thank you for indulging me. I do hope we'll see each other anon. Till then, farewell. 
See you, Daniel. This might be worth a read. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. What's worth a read? What the hell are you guys talking about? Could you come over here? Whatever they're pointing at is over here. Maybe it's inside the tavern? Because I don't see anything to read here. I think they're all crazy. My pawns are going crazy. Our road was a long one, but here we are at last. What's my vocation level, by the way? Oh, five. We need like 872 more discipline points. Ripperoni. Is there any quest we can turn in? Now we have to do one more. We have to do one more monster culling, so I just need to like organize myself. We have yet more locations to attend to. Where to next? I suppose the location nearest here would be a good place to start. Okay. The soldiers delivering freight were last espied near Vermin's eastern edge. That's not far from here. Okay, we stood up for a little bit. <sighs> Primark Lagarius, thank you very much Another for being grossing us for two months. Tip the hat. Here. Appreciate support, thank you. Which is the most pressing. Do pawns also use weapon skills? Of course. Okay, let's go unload stuff. We got so much stuff on us right now. Have you unlocked any specializations? Specializations for the pawn? Yes, I got a tome for as a as a quest reward. Well, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. Is that so? Okay, let's deposit all this. We'll keep the beast steak. I'll probably use that apple on something. Most important thing, though, is going to be the materials. There it be. We need to take the weapons, so you gotta keep those. For some reason, I didn't give this cloak to myself. Oh yeah, it was far away, that was a problem. Okay, she still has the bunch of flowers. Okay, keep that, because we're going to have her send that back. Okay. Much obliged. Follow me. I don't want to waste any more discipline Good points right now. How fares your retrieval of Let's go ahead and turn these in. Oh, -ho! you have procured an archer staff, I see. Most excellent. You may now change your vocation to sorcerer, if it pleases you, sir. However, 
If you wish to register as a warrior instead, you will need to acquire a great sword. Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? Marvelous! You have acquired both an archer staff and a great sword. You may now change your vocation as desired, sir. What's more, I bear glad tidings. Twould seem our arms shortage is at an end. I dare say the armory will be resupplied anon. You found strength, horses. Not bad, all things considered. We have done what we set out to do, and that is well enough. What will our next adventure have in store for us, I wonder? I actually just wanted to, like, get more discipline, but this will do for now. Um, let me think. So, we can rest at the inn. This ladder can take us to new heights. We ought Let me to just see something. Okay. The sound of when you're low on health is very annoying. Okay. We will have to rest at the end. Well, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treat You shan't hear me complain about an early repose. A good sleep does wonders. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Oh, Maybe nobody took him. Okay, let's go ahead. We should be able to check equipment now. Give me this. No! Get this one now. Now deposit the other one. Another bunch of flowers. The other day I arrived at the border checkpoint only to realize I'd left my entry permit back at the inn, ended up having to make the trip back, so I was late for my delivery. When I complained to a fellow driver about it, he said next time I ought to use a beastrin mask. Seems Batal favors its beastrin residents so they can get through without the hassle of a permit. Might be worth keeping a disguise in hand just in case. Interesting. We have a good camping kit, so I wouldn't want that one. Okay, I was just seeing if any of the NPCs would have anything. Jesus, the frame rate in this city, though. It's rough. Is rough. Okay, let's see where the next location is that we're supposed to go. Over here. So we have to take the road from there. Okay. Now, listen close, as today I shall speak of riddles and monsters. The frame rate is only near Vernworth, from my experience. Like, you'll see as we start An distancing star ourselves star from Vernworth, it'll be good. They can be most convenient, though they travel only during the day. Damn it. No! I want to talk to the merchant. Might I interest you in my hump? Ring of Deflection. Bullwares. Much obliged, sir. Nothing caught your eye. That's a shame. Let's hope there's aught worth our coin next time. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. The Sorcerer is actually Paradise from Eric's Gaming. I forgot one thing. I didn't want it to give myself vocation abilities because I want to save mine, but I need to level up my, my fighter.
Have you come to be curious? While it is admirable to devote you, particularly if you are eligible for a special What the hell? Vocation. Or Where's my main pawn? Bro, why are you so far away? Get your ass in here. What the hell? Bro, what are you doing? I could not fathom your intent. Tell you my intent, you idiot. Have you come to be curious of other while it is admirable to particularly if you are eligible for a special vocation? Hit the hell? Okay, let's see. We got hindsight slash shield drum. Oh yeah, I definitely want the provocation augment. Equip that. Chanted counter. Now, do I want the air word slash? No, right now we got shielding, pummel, and gouging skewer. I think we're going to stick with that. So there's not a whole lot that I want to touch on him on here. We keep shield drum. Wait, why is there two shield drum? I messed this up. There should be shield drum and shield pommel. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. There is shield pommel. That, that's not right. Shield drum here. Oh my god, that was the prop. That's why he didn't do the springboard. It wasn't equipped. I forgot to equip it on him. Idiot. For unseen opportunities, always a pleasure. Okay. Let's go. I'm playing on PC. I was like, oh man, this is so bad. He's not using the skill that I didn't equip. Derp. Giga derp. Why won't you use this skill that I didn't equip on you? Oh, here it is what they wanted me to read. Fresh fruits for sale. That's useful. Why won't he use this skill? But didn't we see him use it at one point? It, it was probably Another before I did my last level up. Is not far from here. That was so dumb. Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. Wait, why am I going this way? It's not this way, is it? No. A common reward. Frustratingly so. Oh. You cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. You say that, but What level are we now? Fifteen? Okay, we need to we need to replace them next time we're in town. I forgot to do it, but we should. They're gonna be dying a lot now. Searching for our daughter. If you've seen a young woman matching her description, pray bring word to us at once. Interesting. Chances are she was taken by one of those fell beasts. Only has an appetite for women. Save yourselves the heartbreak. And her per dead. Oh. He's probably referring to the ogres. The ogres always like to pick up women. Glad you like the content, Steven. Have I been inside here? Yes. See how the performance is improving the more we move away from the city? Oh, 
There's the locked house, right? Yeah. If we had to break it. What's this? Some doors can be doing drag can be opened by keys or mechanism. This is merely a matter of time, and you may find that such doors will open at a particular time of day or once you've progressed to a certain point in the story. Ooh. It shan't be from this side. I understand. So maybe if we visit here at night time, the door will be open? I suspect it's more like you can circle around it through a cave or something. That would be my suspicion. Now perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but different masters favor different pawns. One whom I serve preferred to have beastrums for allies, each to their own. Is this a statue of a chicken? That. Man, the rat meat is rotten from the get-go. I can't have a rat burger. Hey, an ox cart. This is probably bound for Meld, though. Can you blow up the bridge? Maybe. This is a wooden bridge, so you probably could destroy it. But I don't want to do that. Seems like a terrible idea. Hey yo, yoink! Did I check inside this place? No. Rotten scrag of beast. That seems like a good use of my inventory space. <clears throat> This, I think, is important, though. Yeah, cinnamon bark. What's your final main going to be? My final main quest is likely going to be... Um, my main quest. My final main vocation is likely going Open to be the... Um, Mystic Spearhand. No God damn it! Okay, this is it. Let's go. Pussy. Pussy! Oh, he's not leaving yet. Okay. God damn it. Get up there! Okay. Cover stamina. Right back on.
The moment of victory is at hand. Let us finish this. Quickly, Arisen. You must regain your power. Oh god, I ran out of stamina. Okay, this is a terrible idea. Run away. Who died? Paradise. No! You leave my buddy alone.
got you, buddy. I got you. No! Oh, yes! Yes! Grab on! Yes! <laughs> Me and Paradise are going away! No, Paradise is gonna die because he doesn't know how to do this. Paradise, no! You're gonna die, buddy! Bro, how is Paradise still holding on? I don't know how he's still holding on. I figure he'd run out of stamina by now. Oh look, there's a Cyclops over there. Wait, where the hell are you flying? This isn't it. You're not supposed to land here. This isn't your nest. Oh God. Yeah, I need my other pawns. Okay, he's leaving again. All right. He got tired midway, had to take a break. Oh god! The hell are you doing, Griffin? See now, foe has lost their vim. There we go. Make the most of this opportunity. The moment of victory is at hand. Let us finish this. Looting everything in your nest, bro.
Get on. I shall propel you into the air. Let my magic grant you an elemental boom. Where'd that bastard go? Did he leave his own place? No, he's down there. I'm not going down there. Screw that. That was thrilling. I did not know I could feel so alive. Let's see if he comes back. Here he is. Our damage is really bad. Why is it saying that somebody's dead? The enemy slows. Perhaps we have tied them out. Recklessness has done them no favors. They ought to conserve their strength. Strike fast the truth, and our quarry shall fall. I'm gonna keep looting while he's not here. Well Let me just real quick. Damn it! Seriously? Two more full health gauges. Oh, come on! Our foe appears to have 
grown just as weary as we. We must not be the help. The moment of victory is at hand. Let us finish this. Not go down there. This is not going to work out. Why can't I use it? Fuck. I got you going flame. Die. Damn it! Let's go. Dead. Yes. Let us endeavor to keep up. Though we are less for the enemy slows. Perhaps we have tied them out. Crap. This has done the known famous. Failed to conserve their strength. A focused attack won't end this smoke. Still in combat.
The fuck just landed? It's the Griffin. Fucking bastard. Well, my pawn's gone. Nope. Can't do it. I'm dead. It's over. Come on! Get back here! Give it up! No way to go! Oh man! What the hell was that? Bastard! Oh no! Motherfucker. <laughs> oh. 
all of that for nothing. <laughs> we lost everything. <laughs> we lost everything. Watch. Pretty sure we lost everything, right? We have yet more locations to attend to. We've a few options where to go, but I'd say our yep. best bet is to start with This the is where the um this is where the griffin attacked. The soldiers delivering the last expired near Burman's That's not the last Alrighty. Efficiency at its best. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. Let the Griffin flee this time if you encounter it again. No, actually, I wanted to. I wanted to go to his nest because there's a port Not crystal the there. The enemy gained the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, But yeah, I'm I'm too low level. Well, not even low level. It's just I haven't upgraded gear at all, and I need to get on that. We are to retreat then. Where you do not fall prey to the enemy's attack. There's no great shock to me. Let's take a look. Okay, yeah, we're making a right here. Face your eyes. No, oh, Fighter is one of my favorite starters by far. That was hard one. We were overconfident in our abilities. It's a painful reminder that fortune will not always favor us. Let's go actually do the quest that we came here to do and then we'll upgrade and we'll be able to kill stuff more efficiently. Just yonder. Looks to be a good spot for harvesting and Cyclops. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Put him down!
It's another one. So, which way now? It's a couple of paths. We can go from up or we can go from below. We're gonna go from up. <clears throat> Does the pawn inclination have effects besides AI behavior? I don't think so. Different combinations result in different creations. Quickly, Arisen. You must regain your freedom. Witness my magic. What is this camp? Monday. Let me get that. So do we go with here? Nope, a little bit more to the left. Wait, if this is a if this is a fort of some kind, shouldn't there be like treasure? Oh, we already looted it. Okay. I espy another statue. I can foresee no reason not to go see it up close. You walk. Field of battle is wont to hit us against our fellows, but that does not make us down easier to bear. Indeed, you are correct. There you go. All sorted. I grant you roaring flame. Oh, there's a calling request here. Or there's something here, I don't know what it is. Yes! Oh! Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but different masters favor different forms. One whom I served preferred to have beastrums for allies, each to their own. Bro, that pawn shredded that dude. We need to go down. We're going the wrong way. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle... Treasure.
quickly now. Our master beckons. I am well aware of the particulars. Should be this way for this quest, I think. Ooh. Gotta be careful not to break that bridge. Okay, this should be it. We're both vocation six, which means it's time for us to swap. Now, what might that be? We ought to take a closer look. Protect the shipment! Task is complete. I concur. Now we must report to Captain Brat. That's the way of things. Is it? Did these guys not even say thank you? I thank you oh, for there coming it is. to our aid. That was a tight spot you saved us from. And what luck! Nary a scratch on the wares to show for it. All right. How do we get back to the city? We can't go down here. We have to go through the same road that we came from. Actually, I think we might be able to fall down from here. So I want to check out this village. Is that the hidden village? I think that might be the hidden village, actually. We'll see. Right, just follow me. Oh, what's this? Thinks we could move this boulder if we work together. I say we give it a push and see what happens. No rest for the weary, it seems. We will be hard pressed to find victory here if we cannot heal our wounds. Use these flames to smite our enemies. This way, right? There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there ought to be found while we're here?
Oh! This is probably a terrible idea. I never Spirit's would have Path. To find a cave in a place like this. It is okay. an exciting discovery, but we ought not to lose our heads. Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna do this one right now. This dude's running around with a helmet. In relation to that, I've been at this for quite some time, and have much to share. If you've need of any advice, just say the word. Hey, chest. Do you think this game's graphics are better than Elden Ring? <sighs> These are two very different art styles. Maybe? I don't know. I have a bad case of recency bias with that stuff, so... Ruined settlement. I don't know if we can go back to the city from here. I don't want to explore too much because we're running we're running low on health. There is a campsite here. We're probably gonna get heavy soon. Oh god. Where's that mage? You bitch. Well, I should probably check these houses for loot since we're here anyway. Hey. Now here's a surprise. Seeker's token. Our collection grows. Huh. I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. Some more looty loots. Hey, there's a good chest in here. Solitary shard is good for little. We need to seek out more of these if tis to be of use. Yes. Must take care not to throw it away by mistake. Oh, this one's closed. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. I wonder if the, there's a hole up there. You'll like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. I'll pick up whatever I want, Annie. Don't lecture me. How are we to get through this door? Hey, another Pelta. Okay, I think at this point I've looted everything, right? Yep. Just double checking. Yeah. 
Looks like we're clear. In which case, it's time to see if we can make it back to town or not. So I would have to go straight up the mountain. I think there's going to be a drop. It's just a matter of whether or not that drop... Hey there, bro. I grant you roaring flame. Thanks for the loot. Okay, is it this way? No. This way. But this is water. Okay, so I have to go. Ah, uh, there appears to be a really big mountain in our way. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I don't think we're going to be able to make it back through there. Oh, great. Now we have undead here. I can scare to my arm from the last battle. Okay, looks like we got him. I don't know if I have food to cook, hopefully. Oh, we got some dried meat and some beef steak. Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? <clears throat> All right, let's loot this stuff. Let's see if I can make myself a little bit lighter. Actually, why not just use all of these? Okay, we're at average for now, that'll do. So, we were trying to figure out if I can go up the mountain. Doesn't seem like Much that's the case. If all we do is make camp. Big we ass mountain. For battle if we rest there is a body. path, though. Oh, we might be able to. Might be able to go up the mountain, actually. Oh no! Wait. This time you have to do it. Now we must report to Captain Brandt. That's the way of things, is it not? Follow me, Master, if you would. I'll uh, bring you to the one you seek. We can just go this way. I'm still curious to see if he would do it if there was actually treasure there. Yep, looks like we're going the long way. We can't cross this. You'll never reach our destination if you continue in that direction. This is rather thrilling. Whoa! This should be safe. Yep. Uh, 
Better not lose that bridge. All right, home stretch. The Griffin again. We don't want to mess with him. I shall come at once, Arisen. We need better gear to mess with him. Are there really only the 10 vocations they reveal in the game as far as I'm aware? Yes. Hell is. Vermond was once a bee-string kingdom. Fascinating. Indeed. If we're to destroy this, it will have to be from the other side. Plainly speaking, tis a bother. <sighs> Unless I am much mistaken, we have cause to visit a place not far from here. We might kill two birds with one stone, or focus on our current objective. You can change your equipped skills at a campsite if you want to. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. They can be most convenient, though they travel only during the day. Let's go turn in the quest. We've arrived, but not so our quarry. Can it Welcome to the we serve all manner of fine ales here. We have to pass the time so that he shows up. Come back any time. Is it night time? Nope. Gotta pass time some Welcome more. Welcome to we serve all manner of fine ales here. Come back any time. Ah, oh, there we are. Good thing we hung about. Greetings, your majesty. Have you a moment to speak? There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. You've done a fine job culling those monsters, your majesty. Tis common knowledge among the people that t'was you who delivered them from danger. The number of those who seek out this tavern in the hope of an audience with the Arisen grows by the day. Should you continue to display such valor, the day will soon come when Disa can no longer deny your presence. And here it slips my mind. Pray, take this. Tis a symbol of my own gratitude. Our task is complete. Expeditioner's cloak. <clears throat> you and I were on the job, master. Indeed. You've called more than your... There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. <sighs> Queen Regent. You will need to infiltrate the palace to gather evidence of Deezer's misdeeds. I hesitate to ask something so dangerous of you. Yet I fear we have few other options. I have attempted to do the same through my own channels before now. Though, I have yet to uncover so much as a whisper of her plots. Would that I could undertake the task myself, but my station prohibits me from reckless action. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? I shall ensure that the door to the Queen Regent's office is open between midnight and dawn. Pray use that time to conduct your investigation. Follow me. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to... Oh, can I just grab all of them? Regent, there is but one 
who I have no doubt will lend his support to your majesty's cause. No, I'm not beelining the game at all. I refer to Waldar, a magistrate. Many a time as Deza demanded Waldor amend the Code of Vermont to her own benefit. And many a time as the magistrate refused her, for he's loyal to none but the spirit of the law. As a result, he now sits in a cell beneath the palace. Our laws dictate that your majesty is our rightful ruler. Thus, as the staunchest supporter of the law known to the palace, I'm quite confident that Waldor will be willing to vouch for your majesty. What say you? Might you be willing to aid me in arranging the magistrate's release? I've prepared a means for you to enter the palace dungeons. Pray, take this. This mission demands the utmost secrecy. Prithee be cautious, your majesty. Should you be discovered, I will be unable to lend aught in the way of aid. Here, if you please. Let me take a look to see if any of these is timed. Nope. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim. The masquerade. It's some time now, to have said that the false sovereign was recovering from his battle wounds. But as I hear it, he is now well enough to walk unaided. And so, in honor of his supposed valor, they have been holding masquerade in the palace of late. The false sovereign's identity is still beyond our ken. Even the matter of from where he hails remains a mystery. But may up approaching the false sovereign at one of these gatherings could afford you a glimpse into the man behind the mask. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? My thanks. Some of the sentries posted at the masquerades are under my command. I shall have them ease security. So pray, slip into the venue through whatever opening presents itself. Once your infiltration is successful, you will need only don a mask and act the part of an invitee. Few will think to be wary if they believe you a fellow masquerader. Here, this should suffice to help you blend in. Take care, your majesty. Ah, there is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, you will require suitable raiment. Much is made of appearances at such gatherings and t'would be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. Right, just follow me. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. While examining the palace ledger for evidence of the Queen Regent's misdeeds, I made a curious discovery. For some time now, it seems, she has been diverting a veritable mountain of gold to the daily purchase of sweet crown flour. What's more, this inexpedient spending habit is recorded to have begun the very day on which Arthur, the would-be arisen, appeared on the scene. This cannot be mere happenstance. I can only conclude that these sums are passing into the hands of Arthur himself. Yet, tis strange, for sweet crown flowers only grow on the eastern edge of Romand. I dare say, it was not an item chosen idly. Mayhap this knowledge will guide us in our pursuit of the false sovereign. Tis a frail hope to be certain. Yet all the same, I would ask that your majesty venture to Vermont's eastern edge and probe into this young man's origins. I am glad to hear it, for I cannot shake the feeling that uncovering the identity of the false sovereign is the key to unraveling Deesa's scheme and securing your enthronement. Could you come over here? All right. And that's all of the quests that we needed to pick up for now. I didn't realize you could pick up more than one. Stop. Just chill. You've been a little bit too excitable, Paradise. Someone is looking this way. Is there aught about me that caught their eye? Oh, Sven is here. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Hoi, friend. Have a great time. There's something I've come to understand during my stolen hours exploring these streets, and I wanted to share it with you. 
every last resident in this city is wholeheartedly devoted to living out their lives. It seems a simple observation, I know, but to me, it was a revelation. For it made me painfully aware of my own position. Can this existence of mine even be called living when I am so doted upon by my mother? I want to live a life I can proudly call my own and to achieve it with all that my heart desires. I tire of enduring my mother's coddling and of having to mind every twitch in her face in order to appease her. Looking at this box, it fills me with courage. Tis proof that I am not my mother's servant to be willed about as she pleases. Tis something I obtained of my own will, though it came to me through you, of course. Pray, take this with my thanks. Tis quite a rarity, as I hear it. I hope tis to your liking. Now, I'd best be... Nice. I may not be able to wander the city again for some time. There's aught I would do. Thus, I cannot say when next we'll see each other, though... I feel sure we shall in time. Uh, perhaps sooner than we might think. <laughs> Till then, take care, friend. That was quite a gift. I hope that we now have courtly clothing. I suppose it is so. Okay, now I want to go and upgrade my stuffs. Have you come to while it is admirable to devote yourself, particularly if you are eligible yeah, yeah, for yeah, a yeah, yeah. special vocation? This is what we were looking for. Okay. Now we can change to this. Galvanize. Rapidly recover stamina, casting powerful spells is taxing, consume large amount of stamina, ensure your magic is at your fingertips when you need it most. Okay, so this is like powering up like a Super Saiyan. Mm-hmm. Okay. Half flagration, eleven. Thundermine. Okay. Augments, we can't do anything. Now, in regards to you, launch board, counter slash, repairing, eh, doesn't seem too important. We'll keep what we have. Obviously, get this and equip it. Oh, so he's ranked six as well? Okay. Time to swap to this. Uh, no, I need a rest before I do that. I need a rest before I do that. Here to for unseen opportunities of exciting potential. Do come again. Now I'm gig overburdened. Gig overburdened. Right, we need to also get rid of these pawns. They're going to be too low level at this point. So paradise. If your pack grows over full, goodbye. What am I gonna give you, paradise? What am I gonna give you? Uh, what's this scale band? Huh? Didn't even realize I got in that one. Hmm. What am I going to give Paradise, dude? What am I going to give Paradise? 
I'm giving one of these shields. I'm not going to be using it. I don't know what class he's playing, though. I'm going to give him a book. There. Be well, Arisen. I'm not one for tearful goodbyes, but I must admit, I've grown rather fond of you. Actually, this isn't connected to uh, Paradise, so he probably doesn't get anything. Annie, on the other hand, does. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor. Where's the flowers? Here it is. I dare say I've accomplished a few feats to be proud of, at least. Oh, what does this say? All right. We've sent the pawns on their merry way. It's time to deposit our stuff. Dude, the meat's still here, really? Good evening, sir. I trust you fed. Okay. Probably want to keep that. So much stuff. What about materials? Too much oil. This is probably green varish rotting away, I think. Or at least one of these other flowers. Oh god, that was not nearly enough. I have too many things. Oh, I have a shield still? These rotten scrag of beasts are weighing me down. Okay, now we're at average. Okay. That should be about good. All right, on the roads, despite the hour. You know where to find. We need to go and equip him, though, before we rest. We need to upgrade our pawn to become really good. Are you in the market for something in particular? Which one is the expensive sword? Cutlass Vermudian Brand. Yep. Give me one of these. What's the best shield? Legion of Vernworth. Give me one of these. Can I? Do come again. Our coin reserves are much depleted after that indulgence. Why are you complaining? This is for you. Welcome. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. Iron Helm. This will... I can compare it, right? This is going to be way better because it doesn't have anything. Plate armor. Wait, guardian plate armor? It's even better. Guardian plate armor. Scale jacket. We actually have pretty good pants, it seems. Patroller knee guards, guardian leg plates. These are pretty beast. The guardian's leg plates. It's 28,000. General's mantle. 
We have a new one. We can probably just use that. So we're going to go with this. So before you check the price, just remember. Okay. Wait. Didn't I buy a new weapon? Did, did I buy a two-handed sword? Thanks. I appreciate the bit. Did I just buy a two-handed sword by mistake? No. Oh, it's on me. Why didn't it show up as upgradable, though? Also, I have the shield, right? Okay. We just need to give him, like, a ring or something. Boosts magic, ring of accrual, maximum weight, strike attacks, fire attacks. Now he's going to be properly geared. <clears throat> Welcome to... And quality is what you need if you want to... That's 600 gold. Yep. Can we go further? Chopper horn. I don't know if I have those. Need four of them. Survive. Many thanks. I appreciate This is one of the things that I wish they hadn't changed. In the first one, I would just get stuff from your storage. Like, I don't think it makes sense to have to go here to grab, like, chopper's horns if I happen to have them. Good evening, sir. I trust you. Do we have chopper's horns? These would be materials. Chopper horns. No, we only have one. Wait. I only have one. All right on the roads, despite so the does it bridge. work? Because I thought it didn't. Unless I have one on me, which I don't. So it does work. It's weird. I tried doing it at one point and it didn't work. That's weird. Okay, and now that that's done, let's give him a proper cloak, too. Dude, he looks beast! Now we rest. Good evening, sir. I trust you for a good sleep will ensure we are prepared. And now he's prepared to be rented and to be an absolute giga-chad. Who took him this time? Thank you. Moritz. There he is. He's a fighter as well. He probably learned some things from my pawn. Though our foes were familiar, our tactics were most novel. It was an edifying journey. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. So, now he should be fully updated. He is going to be level 16 throughout the next couple of hours, at least. Because I need to take a break. We've been streaming for eight hours. My wife's been calling me. I need to see what's going on. So thank you all very much for hanging out with me. There's going to be another one of these streams tomorrow. I just need to set it up. There will be an event. But in about an hour, there's going to be another stream... And it is going, not, not really a stream, it's like a premiere. It's a four-hour premiere of Rise of the Ronin footage, in case you guys are also wondering what Rise of the Ronin is like. It's like the first four hours of gameplay, and then depending on interest on that particular playthrough, I might post more, I might not. But anyway, thank you all very much for hanging out with me. Love y'all. 
I'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay strong. Stay safe. Peace out.